Hello everybody, I'm Richard Truswell, the station manager of Hadley Public Access Television. I don't ordinarily step out from behind the camera, but today, June 13th, 2015, is a special day in Hadley Public Access Television's history. It was 25 years ago today that Public Access Television was born in the town of Hadley. I was on that date, June 13th, 1990 that the very first Hadley government meeting ever aired on Hadley Public Access Television or TV 13 as it was known back then was shot and it was shot by me. I remember that the it was a select board meeting or board of selectmen as they were known back then and I remember that it was a very hot meeting both temper and temperature wise. Um, it was one of those summer days when the temperature was in the 90s and it was humid. And back in those days, the town hall was not air conditioned. So that made it even worse. It was brutal in that meeting room, I remember. Um, the main topic of the meeting was uh, the select board's proposal to uh, co convert from a fixed rate for uh, water usage in town to a metered rate. And there were a number of angry farmers and residents uh, at the meeting who were vehemently opposed to the change because um, they believed it would, re would result in their water rates going way up. Um, the select Board of Selectmen back then were John Allen, who was the chairman, Donald Pipsinski, who was the clerk of the board, and Joanna Devine, who was the member. Um, the Board of Selectmen was a three-member board back in those days. Um, airing this meeting was an adventure as well. Um, back in those days, we did not have uh, automated cable and automatic cable cable casting system. I can get that out. Uh, most access centers back then did not because it just wasn't affordable yet. So in order to uh, air a meeting, um, I'll give you a little background on this. Uh, TV 13, uh, we shared a public access um, channel with the town of Belchertown and the cable casting facilities were located in the basement of Lawrence Memorial Hall, which was Belchertown's town hall. An interesting idiosyncrasy of that room was that it was nice and cool during the summer, but hotter than heck during the winter because there was this big steam pipe that went through the uh, room. But anyway, um, because we didn't have automated, uh, automatic automated cable casting system. Boy, I'm having trouble getting that out. Um, every time we needed to air a meeting, I would have to go down to the office in Lawrence Memorial Hall and put a tape in the VCR there and at the scheduled airtime, press play and then sit there and watch the meeting and critique my uh, work. Or it was a particularly long meeting and I'd either go out for a walk or I'd go down to Eastfield Mall and do some shopping. But anyway, this first meeting, it took us 13, 13, took us three attempts to get it aired. Um, because the uh, first two times we tried to air it, the meeting got knocked off the air by uh, thunderstorms. Um, see, back then the cable companies head end was in Belchertown and it was not fiber, a fiber optic system yet. I don't even think that had been invented yet at that point. Uh, so every time they ran a cable from, regular cable from Belchertown to Hadley and every time the power went out anywhere between Belchertown and here, and it usually did any time a thunderstorm hit, um, the cable would get knocked out. So, but anyway, um, tonight we're going to re-air that meeting in its entirety. And you'll see that my 
um, videography skills have greatly improved since then. That was the very first time I think that I'd ever used a video camera. Um, I think I did a pretty good job considering. And the audio was so-so because all we had was the onboard microphone, the built-in microphone to use, so it's a little hard to hear at times, except when tempers flared. So here is that meeting. June 13th, select this meeting. Before I'm present, I'll call the meeting to order. Uh, the first order of business uh, is with the informational while we're waiting for Joanne. The uh, assessors uh, have submitted the necessary forms to the state. A form called an LA 13 or something. And we just need to sign. We've already voted for a single time. Pass a single tax rate classification. The board needs to execute that and get back to the Here, you want us to sign the original? The other item of interest is that uh, Roger Hewitt from the UMass Foundation sent us a copy of the agreement that we came up with between UMass and the Foundation and Amherst, the town of Amherst, to allow uh, certain gallons of sewer. And uh, the copy he gave us is signed by the board of selectmen. So that's just a matter of interest. It was covered in the papers yesterday. Um, I'll entertain a motion to approve the minutes of the prior select meeting. I make a motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. Um, I don't think we need to. I don't think we need to. Uh, would you like to vote the single classification? Uh, we I voted it once already. Just to cover ourselves in case we possibly might need it. Okay, I'll move to uh, vote a single classification for all four classifications of Hadley's tax rate for the new fiscal season. Is there a second? Second. Any further discussion? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Uh, new business, there's an app action is requested on an application for a one-day liquor license for the South Hadley Chamber of Commerce. And what they would like is They'd like to serve uh, beer, wine, and liquor at a dinner meeting on June 14, 1990. The meeting will be at the Summer House on, uh, at the State Park. And so how does the board feel about granting this application? It's on state property. I don't believe the Board of Selectmen has the authority to grant a liquor license. Beer and wine, yes, but I would strike the word liquor out of the uh, application. Okay. So the Board, there seems to be consensus that the Board would grant the application uh, uh, excluding liquor. Is that correct? Okay. I'll, I'll, is there any further discussion? Okay, hearing none, I'll call for a motion to that effect. I'll move to grant the South Hadley Chamber of Commerce a license to uh, at, serve beer and wine at a dinner meeting on June 14, 1990, during the hours of 6 to 9 p.m. at the Summit House at the State Park. No, motion to vote, second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, I'll call for a vote. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Unanimous. Would you send them that with a cover letter noting that we removed liquor? The thing is, it's tomorrow. Well, tell them. 
Show them. Show them a minute. Yeah. Okay, uh, while we're signing that, there's another request uh, for Ian Fields High Restaurant of Hadley Inc. and businesses Hadley Steak and Seafood House to, uh, for the sale of all, uh, all kinds of alcohol. Okay. Okay, they're changing the name of the business establishment. Is there any discussion? I don't have any problem with it. It's just simply a name change. Yeah. All right. All, uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 James Jackson, I guess, is just a member at large, and Richard Wilga is a historical commission member, is that correct? Yes. Okay. How's the board feel about appointing these two individuals for that volunteer? Um, one of the things that we appoint James Jackson and Richard Wilga to the Handicap Access Committee. There's a motion, is there a second? Second. There's a second, any further discussion? All in favor, say goodbye, we say hi. Aye. 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 July 10th at 7 p.m. is an organizational meeting. July 10th? Yeah, at 7 p.m. This will be at the old gym. At that same time, Joanna, they'll have to swear in before you as town clerk also, right? As right. Could Someone that be handled at that same at time? At the same time. Okay. Okay, we have a request from the highway superintendent to appoint uh, John Earl and Robert McKay to work on the Hadley Highway Department. They're, what they do is part-time, it's part-time summer help. Uh, I believe both these individuals have worked for us before. Starting July 1st mm -hmm. in a new budget. I don't have a problem with it. Would the chairman uh, like a motion to that effect? Please. I'll make a motion to appoint John Earl and Robert McKay to work in the highway department uh, starting July 1st at a rate of 772 per hour in accordance with the union contract. There's a motion. Is there a second? No, second. There's a second. All in favor? I was saying aye. 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 It's unanimous. Um, discussion on the dog warrant. Uh, I guess I'm responsible for putting this on, but I don't want to take a lot of time with it tonight. This is just two more for the ambulance and stuff. Okay. Can somebody explain what it is? That's what it is. It authorizes the police chief who is also the dog officer to have to go and sit on a license. They're supposed to be licensed at the April 1st, but they cannot issue the warrant until June 10th. Okay. Uh, is this something that has to be done every year, even though the town has a bylaw? Aye. Is the board in favor of issuing this warrant? If the board is in favor of it. The chairman will be inclined to sign it. Just for discussion purposes, I was contacted by a couple of farmers that have been prob having problems with dogs chasing their cattle. Uh, one uh, calf uh, was uh, severely chewed, in fact, on a Maple, uh, Maple, South Maple Street, and the uh, owners were very distressed about the problem. And another one up in the northern part of North Alley complained also. These are animals that are in pins already, you know, and uh, I think it's our responsibility to uh, help protect those animals that are refrained, and all dogs should be tied between. Uh, April 1st and uh, I believe September 15th. Yeah. I understand. I, I have no objection. I just wanted to force the board's will behind the chairman's signature. I didn't want to get out of the way. No, this is just for Yeah. So is there a motion to issue the warrant? So moved. Is there a second? second. All in favor? Aye. 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 It's unanimous. Okay. Uh, we have a uh, 
Okay, old business, discussion of water rates. Um, since there's some new folks here, I think the board might start off with an overview of where we were last year, uh, last meeting. And I noticed the charts here. Uh, does one of the board members want to bring everybody up to date with where we were? They want to give you a try to, anyways. I know Robin gave a much more professional uh, presentation, but I'll try to recap basically what she presented last week. Sorry. Right. Um, okay, basically, what we have before us this evening is a budget that we have to create X amount of dollars to pay for for the town of Hadley. And the way this is figure is about by the amount of water that was pumped in the town of Hadley. During the course of the year, we know how much water the town of Hadley pumps. That was approximately 38 million gallons, I mean cubic feet, that were pumped from our Mount Warner wells. And the metered rate of that would be uh, 14 million approximately and 37% usage. Unmetered delivery is approximately 23 million and 63% uses. At the present time, using calculations to arrive at our budget, we have metered customers that derive at 45% uh, of the revenue to pay for the budget, which consists of 314000 what we'll be looking for in this coming fiscal year. The unmetered customers are 55%. What she proposed out here was, though, is the actual usage of the metered people. The metered people are actually only using 30%, 37% of the water while they're actually paying for 45% of it, versus the unmetered people using 63% while they're actually, in actuality, only paying 55%. The proposed rates here basically reflect a fair share to the people that are actually using it, which would reflect to the metered people. Okay, well, again, the way we can calculate this, and the only way we can render a uh, calculation is because of the amount of water that is pumped through our pumping system, which is 38 million. What you do is divide that by uh, 100 cubic foot, which is the amount of units that would go through a meter and would reflect about 75 cents per uh, 100 cubic feet. When you divide that out, what you do is, in essence, get a rate of 83 cents per 100 cubic feet for the meter rate, which would, in essence, pay $314,663. That is factual. We can calculate that because we do have a meter usage. But again, we have a flat rate system, and we have to balance this out one way or another. Again, as we said earlier, 63% of the uses that are uh, being used are <coughs> unmeasured through the flat rate system, and they're using 55% and of the revenues. And only the amount of collected uh, in the fiscal year 90 would be 130,000. The difference to make up the amount calculated for the metered rate would have to be an increase of approximately 53% in the unmetered rates. And this is what leads us to what we're here today again for to, uh, as a board, to try to calculate what is fair or not. And uh, what this does is propose to you is charging the metered people at the fullest rate by going to 83 cents. We know it costs the town of Hadley 314,000 approximately for the amount of revenue that we'll need to derive to operate the uh, water department for fiscal 91. And by taking that metered rate, if we proposed 83 cents, it would equal out to 314,000. So that would be putting the metered rate at the highest possible percentage that they should be paying. But what we have to decide here, what is fair or what isn't fair, and it's going to be up to my colleagues and myself to decide that this evening and to make the combination 
it would be to add 53 percent to all of the fl flat rate people at the same time, adding 83 cents to the metered rate. Mr. Cook? Um, my name is Gordon. Uh, <coughs> East Hadley Road, depending on the frame of the house. But um, I have a question to you. Uh, I, uh, I commend you on your accuracy on having all these figures, which lead me to wonder where the water goes when, when the hydrants are flush, where the water goes when we have a fire, where the water goes when we practice, when the fire department practices for different things, where the water goes on municipal buildings, including the schools that are not metered. This water must be some small, minuscule fraction of that water that's supposedly used by unmetered people. And I think until we can be a little more finite about actually what's what's missing, then I think we'd be a little bit less than we missed to just tell the people that don't have meters that you're jabbing the people that have meters. And to just increase the rate of the non-metered people will certainly make our full circle so that the next time we have a ballot question, should we have meters, I'm sure we'll get enough people to have meters, if that's, if that's what our initial intent is with this action. I think we first have to assess where this extra water goes to see what really is the share of the unmetered people. And I don't think there's a single person in Hadley that uses water that doesn't want to pay their fair share. I, I don't believe there is. I just think that we really have to, if we're going to be specific, then we better be correct when we're being specific. And I think there's a few other things that we might ought to think about, because this is Hadley's revenues. These are Hadley's expenses. And the people of Hadley accrue these revenues and pay these expenses. How many people in Hadley that don't have meters, and perhaps there's some with more than one different service. I, I know personally, I have a service that goes underground. It never gets above four feet on ground. It hits a standpipe, and I use it to water heifers in the summer. It's going to be very difficult for me to put a meter on there that won't freeze and can be read. I'm not saying it can't be done. I'm sure it can be. But I think that the total cost of all the people in Hadley, and I'm, I imagine that the, public, the Department of Public Works in Hadley have got all the different accesses to the different town's water pipes to, you know, to know where they all are. And when we put a, let's, let's say that the, the water meter deal from, from a town meeting and then from before I was on the ballot question, they both were defeated in different, in different mannerisms. But let's suppose they passed. They know where all these meters are. I would like to know what, if, if Ms. Crosby could tell the town of Hadley what it will cost to install all these meters. I wonder all right, wait a minute. we got to stop right here. The Board of Selectmen is here tonight to address <coughs> rates. The meters got defeated. We're not talking about meters at all. Well, John, I'm, I think we're talking about meters when we're, yes, talking, when we're talking about rates, and we increase the rates so that the people okay. that, that aren't really using all this water, John, we have a lot Mr. of water. Mr. Cook, one, yes. more, one more point. Initially, and you may have just have misunderstood what Mr. Kuczynski said, you, it seemed to me, perhaps I heard you wrong, that uh, early on you indicated that the flat raters were going to get all the increase. That's not true. No, I'm going to see the flat rater getting credit for all the water that isn't being used by the metered people. It's right there. I mean, it's right. in blue and white. Okay. Just a second. In the way this was calculated, um, the page one lost lost stuff assumes this is all the waters. This is all the water pumped and all the water paid for. One so, more page, and it'll have it right in numbers. Right here. No, that's percentages. Just flip it all the way over. There we go. Water pump. <clears throat> Thirty-eight million two hundred and thirty-five thousand two hundred ninety-four gallons. I understand what you're saying exactly here. Exactly the sum of the unmetered delivery and the metered delivery. I know that, but down in here, all we're trying to do is correct, is to adjust these discrepancies, which includes loss of water. At what rate? At what so rate? I know. So I well, know. You, well, let's not assume that it all goes to the unmetered people. Let's assume that the the towns. 
it's got, it's got, it benefits everyone in town to flush the high risk. It benefits everyone in town to fight the fires. I don't think the town calls up and says, geez, uh, we'd like to fight your fire, but if you're not on a meter, we can't. They're not going to do that, and I know, and you know they're not going to do it. But we have to assess that gallonage if we're going to make direct statements to say where the water's being used now. That's what we have to do. That's, that's my point. Okay. And if, if we don't do that, and we just increase the rates at some, you know, I don't know how picked figure, then I don't think it may be accurate to do it that way. I think it's, it's got to be done. And then, yes, it does. The back door is meters. And, and now, you I object to that. I, you can object to it. And I, all I want to say is that is my personal feeling. Okay. And, that, and that'll qualify your objection. I just want to tell everybody here that if I hear too much of that tonight, I'm going to have to rule you out of order because the purpose of this is to set a rate. And we have to set the rate because the bills are about to go out. Yeah. Okay? I you, hope, everyone right. has a choice. Then all we have to do is assess where the water goes. Yeah. Right. Thanks. That's a point that's maybe worth discussing. But meter or not, you all have a choice. The bottle off failed. You all have a choice. You all have a choice. Okay, I did some figuring out my own on the percentages and some checking. This is the annual report from uh, Mike, the water system. <coughs> 1989, we pumped 266,141,600 gallons, broken down into cubic feet, that's 35,580,428 cubic feet, not 38. Correct. Uh, the average usage over three years. Let me finish years. talking, please. Okay. okay. Less 15% for unaccounted water, that's the town buildings, flushings, fires, leakage, and that. Okay. 15% is 5,337,064 cubic feet. Actual water consumption, 30,243,364 cubic feet, okay? Broken down for meter, it, and if these are using Robin's figures, it's 14,000, 14,327,500 cubic feet, or 47%. Unmetered, it's 15,915,864 cubic feet, or 53%, okay? Our total debt budget that it was certified is $298,663 for FY91, not $314. Um, okay, you take the unaccounted for water at 15% of the total, which is 5,337,064 cubic feet. Get the actual cost, I assign one half of that, or 2,668,532 cubic feet to the meter and half to the unmeter. So you want to assign half to each? Half to each, right. Total water pumped is 35,580,428 cubic feet. Broken down, metered, it's 16 million 996,032 cubic feet, or 48%. Unmetered is 18,584,396 cubic feet, or 52%. It's almost half and half. Metered use is 48%. Unmetered is 52%. If we're thinking increases, you know, in the water billings, it should be an even uh, increase across the board. Some points I'd like to bring up: all our systems leak. Uh, you know, no matter where they are, they leak in the transmission of the water. The figures I used were the figures that were taken from the water uh, where the stations where it was pumped out. Um, Mr. Cook brought up town-owned properties are not built for the usage. They will be, they will be next year. Well, we're going to pay it, John. Okay. Because the water the people rates were had not on your rates. Well, let me finish talking. The people have it. Wait a minute. The water rates were adjusted in 1986. Okay. No additional construction since then. So why such a large increase? 53%. <coughs> And those expenditures have been occurred. Uh, and have, have we been subsidizing or supplementing the highway to budget? If I check into that, I haven't had time. Uh, meter billing is more expensive to administer. You have to have a meter reader go out and record the data. And then you have to have a town employee compute the usage and generate a bill. It's more involved in time consuming. We're just talking about rates. Right. Well, these are points I'm bringing up. I'm concerned for the farmers and those on fixed income, too. Like, you know. Um, some of
some suggestions for getting people to meter is when a property is transferred or sold, require a meter be installed. Uh, we have some multifamily dwellings. We could require them to have meters installed. Uh, those with built-in swimming pools should require them to be metered. Or those with built-in sprinkler systems in their yards require them to be metered. There have been so many questions brought up, not just on this, but on standpipes. I feel we should have the uh, study committee made up to look into not just the water, but the sewer rates, uh, the engineering, the agricultural needs, any, any construction needs that are going to be coming up. Uh, possibly they may say a DPW would be more cost effective, but I think we should have help on this, not just three of us. Well, what would you recommend the board do for tonight? We have to set a rate. I feel it should be 50-50. Well, what's the rate that you've got to I didn't get that far to go on the rates. I, took me all day to do this with the pumping and the water usage between customers and that. But I yeah, Mr. Tuska, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, that's that's one thing that uh, that caught my eye right away. Um, like Mr. Cook says, I'm not opposed to paying my fair share. I feel I do. But I'm and I'm not a math list. I don't pretend to be. But. If 47, if 45 percent of the people use 37 percent of the water, and if 55 percent of the people use 63 percent of the water, you know the difference between 55 percent and 63 percent is not. We never said anything 53. about percentage of people. Oh, okay. We talked about revenue, percent of revenue, and percent of gallons used. We never said anything about percent of people. Okay. Well, I, I'm still not, I, I'm not even sure I know how to uh, explain it, right? still going in the back of my mind now. Correct me if I'm, correct me if I'm wrong, the, the current rate now is 75 cents per 100 cubic feet? On meter. On meter, correct. And increasing it to 83 cents is about a 10% increase, correct. roughly. Now, I kind of have to agree with Mrs. Devine that to increase one set of people 10% and the other set of people 53% kind of is not balanced. Well, and there's, it's a public policy, there's a public policy question that has to be answered, and that is it appears, albeit with imperfect information, because since so much of the town is metered, we can't measure how much water unmetered people are using. You know, it's an unknown in the equation since they're not metered. We don't know how many gallons they're actually using. But it looks like. Well, you can use a subtraction. Uh, you know. It looks like two things to me as I have listened to discussion on this and looked at the data and talked to engineers in the field. It looks like um, it looks like the metered people, the, the newer people in town, are subsidizing the flat raters to some extent. It also looks like to me that about half of the unmetered people are really getting nailed and they're flat ready. That they're basically subsidizing some unmetered people who are using a ton of water. Right. When I look around the room here and, and I see some people who probably are flat rate that would unquestionably uh, be far better off with a meter because of the, yeah, the family they, conditions that I'm aware of. Yeah, but didn't the time lose revenue? No. <laughs> Yeah. That's another not, misconception. If we could just clear that up. Mr. Chairman, yeah. but now he's talking, you're not just talking, talking about me. I thought you said that about ten times tonight. <laughs> talking about the rate. Let me clear up the, the, town, so the, the comment came, uh, afraid the town would lose revenue. If everyone were on meter and all the leakage taken into the town and everything else, the, rate's the rate up. would be 83 cents per 100 cubic feet. Period. All leakage, schools, fires, everything. <coughs> Your rate would be 83 cents if everyone was on a meter. Yes, sir. If we had a drought this town, a like for a drought, like, you know, no rain for a year or two, right. who has the pri priority? Farmers, school department, 
or whoever. Well, got that's, it. A, that's a question that every town has to face when that comes in. Well, the, the farmer point. should have it in his town. Well, I think people have priority over food because we can bring food in from other areas. We can't, well, maybe we can't, we, we can't reconstitute people. You need water, you die in 48 hours. Mr. Mr. Chairman, uh, you know, you keep saying, or it's, it's repeatedly said that uh, flat rate people are subsid or no, excuse me, the meter people are subsidizing the flat rate people, correct? It looks that way. It looks that way, okay? All right. Uh, in the calculations that your administrative assistant has given you and the people here, where's the consideration for any water loss in the lines? Where's the consideration for uh, flushing of the hydrants? Where's the consideration for fires? Where's the consideration for a major water break, which has happened? Where's the consideration for all the, the, the town-owned buildings that are not in this revenue here, the town-owned buildings? Correct me if I'm wrong. I, I'm going to correct you. I just said Were you, that no. town buildings are going to be metered. Okay, but I'm saying where is the charge? That's what I wanted to finish saying. Where's the charge? Who picks up that charge? Who picks up that revenue? Is it the metered people or is it the flat rate people? Flat rate. It, that one, one question I want to answer right before you. Just answer me that right now. In okay. the presentation. What I'm not done. confronts us is the total revenue we need for the water department to operate efficiently for the next fiscal year. That is $314,000. That's a known factor, okay? Then the other factor is the amount of water that we can pump. That's another known factor. So then how much would it take to pay for that whole $314,000 including your leaks, uh, using fire hydrants for fire protection and everything. It still totals 314000 When you calculate that in with the metered rate, moving it up from $0.75 cents to $0.83, cents, that equals out. $0.83 cents equals 314000 What you're doing then, in essence, by going to 83% on the metered rate with two known factors, is charging the metered people at the fullest extent for what it would cost to operate that budget if everything was on meters, okay, including Don, leaks okay, and Don, everything else. All right, fine. Now, okay, now you're going to change people over to meters, okay? Now, everyone, and you inclusive, come out and said at town meeting that your rate dropped, okay? Right. Cost, your rate, your cost, cost, total cost, your total cost, what you paid to the town, so it's revenue to the town, dropped. You went, you went by 840 to 40, and I don't know what the 40 represented. It, it may be a, a partial bill. 840 is probably a full year, correct? Mm -hmm. Is it? The 40, does, it, it seems quarter. ridiculous. Quarter. quarter, okay. So multiply that times 4, 160, okay? Now, who picks up the difference in loss there? I went through 25 people in town that changed from flat rate to meter, and on an average, those people, their, their uh, bills dropped by 51%, okay? Right. Who picks up the difference in the loss of revenue? That's right. what I like to know. I could partially answer your question. I, I want a full answer. Those people who went to meters, mm -hmm are not now subsidizing some of the folks in town that water their lawns all the time. And the flat raters who are the, the flat raters who are left are going to be subsidizing those people. John, who's subsidizing who here? That's what I want to know. Like, Don't say that the metered people are subsidizing the flat rate users because it's false. Well, I'll tell it's you false. what. It's I, put my money where my, I put my money where my mouth is and I ordered a meter last week. Well, good. But I'm saying that's a false statement that you people I'm, are making. I'm Fran Coolis from Tomorrow Road. And what I would like to see in this town is one heck of a lot more honesty. Now, we lack a lot of honesty in what goes on in our town. And that is bad. I mean real bad. 
Are you on a flat rate or a meter? I am a flat rate person, but one of our selectmen said on the stage from the town hall he is paying a whole lot less because he is on a meter, okay? You we go too. around with that. All right, fine. Then where does our administrator come up with this business of the flat rate people are the ones that are the bad guys? Nobody said, listen, Mrs. Claus, you want honesty from the board of select women? I guys? sure as heck well, I'm going to tell you right here that nice. you would save a ton of money if you put a meter in. And one of the reasons that I have this concern is that a lot of people your age in this town are paying a ton of money to subsidize some people who are using a lot of water. And if you're on a fixed income, I'd advise you to go on a meter. You do not know what it would cost to have me put in a meter. We have already gone into that. I have got two outdoor uh, faucets. If I were to put in a meter, it would have to be down by the road, and God have mercy, it would cost us over $1,000 to put it in there. Because if you were doing an honest calculation of the money that I spend on water in the house for the washing machine, the dishwasher, and the household usage, you would not be getting the full account. Because I've got these two outdoor faucets that I water the garden and I water the lawn. I do not raise vegetables for agriculture. That's, that's an understanding. I am not a farmer. But I have a lot of feeling for the farmers that do. I got two dogs that drink water outside. That's it. But I do not think we are getting honesty from our board of people in town. Well, if you're saying all these people are going on meters and they're saving tons of money, who's going to count for all this water? That's right. It, you know, if everybody in town goes on a meter, everybody's rates are going to go down. Everybody's the water's still going to be used, and you're still not going to know how much water is being used. Everybody's saving. Everybody's going to save money by going on a meter. That no, you're saying, that's what you just said. That. You said that. I you said told this lady right here, if she went on a, on a meter, she would save a ton of money. I said she would. And everybody else in town would save a ton of money. Everyone in you, you have to analyze. Everybody's situation is different. You may have six <laughs> people living in a domicile. You may have just one person. You may have someone that's hooked to the sewer that's paying 245% to help augment paying for that sewer versus somebody that's not even on the sewer. So everybody has a different situation to analyze how their bill is derived. I do not have a sewer, and there will never be a sewer up Chimera Road. We're way up in, in the boondocks. Mr. Richcast. <clears throat> is the water department now in a deficit, a projected deficit? Ready? We're talking, I don't, I'm not prepared to answer that. We're talking about next year's budget. Well, if you're not prepared to answer that, then why are you increasing the rates? You have to raise them. No, you don't have to raise Okay, first of all, we, what we do is have an increased budget for the next fiscal year over what we have this year. And hopefully this year we have a balanced budget that will come in balanced. Not a deficit, not over. That's what it's calculated. Donald, Very last, close. Last okay, let me finish, Mr. Mitchcock. I didn't finish asking my question. We either. also have uh, articles that were voted at town meeting. Uh, repair of the Mount uh, Warner Well pumping stations, uh, number one pump. That amount of money for the, that project has to be calculated into this fiscal rate also. How much? Can we, can we appropriate $50,000? It's still to be paid here regardless. It's part of the, you know, it's, it's part of the whole form. Okay, okay, wait, wait, I didn't finish asking, with the increase. asking my question. Wait a minute, he's still talking. Yeah, but he interfered. You know, me. all of these questions Don't that you're asking. Don't interrupt him. Then why did he interrupt me? Mr. Bichkowski, all those questions, and then I'll stop at this, is all encompassed in that $314,000 for the next fiscal year to operate the water department, okay? I sat on this board the last increase with Tom Scanlon, and there was a 25% cushion in that, okay, for water improvements, all right? If the board, as the water commissioners, <coughs> look forward to say, well, they're going to improve certain water mains or hydrants or what, yeah, okay. But if they're just arbitrarily going to increase uh, the water fees to go around uh, Proposition 2.5 to, to raise extra revenues for the community, that's wrong. Because, you know, you're saying, well, the schools 
well, they're going to get billed for it. We're paying for the schools through tra taxation. You people want to go to use fees and all these other uh, uh, structures around Proposition 2 and a half to around uh, an override question, okay? And yet, Mr. Allen, you stated, well, you don't want to talk about meters, you don't want to talk about this. No, no. When, when I, you talk, when you talk, Mr. Allen, when you talk about <coughs> rate increases, Mr. Bitskowski, you have to talk all the facts. What is your point? The point is, listen to uh, Suckman Devine, what she sa said right there tonight. I think there's some okay. great ideas. Uh, fix the income people, encourage them to go on a meter. I'm all for that. I'm all for putting a... a, a what did you I say? I'm concerned about people that are on fixed income. <coughs> How I don't do we translate your concern to why didn't, rate? Why doesn't the board, Mr. Allen, why doesn't the board? She someone should. that's living on a limited income, I don't want them to wonder if they're going to be able to buy groceries or stay warm or pay their water or sewer bill. I don't want them to go up on their site. You know, so, there's too many questions on So them. as a selectman and water commissioner, what would you do? Just what she said. By my figures, the way I figure, they should be increased 50-50%. That sounds more than reasonable, yeah. Mr. Allen. Only if you Basically, listen. just to save time, I think we have to paint a little scenario here. Irregardless of what, what has transpired four years ago when Mr. Michkowski was a selectman and he said it was 25% built into the budget or not, what we are confronted with today is we need $314,000 to operate the water department for the new fiscal year. Now we are here today to define how we're going to pay for that 314000 and what we're deciding is the rates. It's a definite fact that we need 314000 Who said so? Who said that? that I'd like to see Not the meeting breakdown appropriate. on that. No, Tom meeting appropriate. No, I'd like to see the breakdown on where the 314000 is going to go. John, be useful. Read John? It. Yeah, read it. When, when? We actually approached Mr. Chairman, the answer that. $663, that's what I certified. Plus the article, uh, was it $35,000 to borrow from the phone? Mm -hmm. But I have a question here on this, uh, on these figures. $8,000 for uncollected bills. What was that for? We've uh, got $8,000 worth of outstanding bills right water now. Water bills that aren't paid. And the town never budgeted. We still, whether people pay their bills, we still have to pay the electric See, company and the guys. One thing you have to understand, by law, the Board of Selectmen cannot raise above the amount of money it takes to operate this department. Why That's why I find there's a fallacy with the 25 percent. Why are you was doing it? In other words, you did something illegally. No, there. we didn't. We're not. We, anti That's what I'm we to anticipated say. repairs. And you and it's okay, allowed. That's what you did then it's at this allowed time. We law. anticipated these operating expenses. Well, tell the people what you're going to do. You know, I think we'd have to have our highway uh, superintendent here, the water superintendent, to define I think everything by line item, that whole budget, to give you those answers. I think, Mr. Pipchinski, you know, I don't have that your board better tonight. sit down and do a, a little more recalculation. There's been a lot more time spent on these rates, and they're far more accurate than when you set the rates and just threw 25% extra on it. If you're complaining... We didn't just throw 25. We anticipated repairs. It just didn't it's throw. Repairs, okay. There has no been has not been any rate creases in this town since 1986. Right. You have to bear that in mind also. Mr. Fitzgibbon will go around this way. Yeah. I brought up last week that I didn't think there was enough uh, research done to present those figures, and what I'm hearing here tonight just proves out what I said last week when you said I was rude and out of order for saying that. Same thing is coming out again tonight. There still hasn't been enough research done to justify the figures. Anybody could take and say we need three hundred fourteen thousand dollars and then figure out a way to get it. Okay. But I want to see a fair distribution of the thing so, across. So your everybody. objection is not to the amount we have to raise, but no. to the way it's distributed. The way those figures right there, that thirty-seven and sixty-three. How would you change them? I don't know how I would change them, but I say, and I'm telling you that enough thought has not been put into it, and I agree with what Mrs. Devine said. You should stop this business right now before you get into serious problems and appoint a committee and get some professional consultant come in and do that thing right and not have amateurs do it. That's what you've done today. You have amateurs doing it. That's, that's absolutely right. And that's where you're going to determine all these 
uh, unforeseens here, which you don't know about. You don't know where the, the loss is in the lines. You don't know where, you don't know where, there's a, there's a lot of water there that's undetermined what's put into this block in here that's uh, unmeasured. Can I interrupt you for just one second? Well, let me just finish. I know, I'd like to stop you there because you're Well, no, you're not going to stop me because I want to finish. I want to know the answer on where the calculation is for the, all these undetermined figures Don't here. Put that in front of me. The undetermined right. figures where, you know, the, the fire, the loss in the lines, when, they're, when uh, the schools, all the town-owned buildings, okay, what are those figures? That's what I want to know. 83 cents per 100. No, no, that's, e that's easy for you to say. When you turn around, when, when, no, this is fact now. This is fact. When 25 people change from flat rate to meter, their bills drop 51%. How are you going to adjust that revenue loss? How? I'm afraid that the flat raters are going to have to make it up. No, no. You're going to say it's 83 cents, okay? Now it's 75 cents. It's still not going to make a big difference, okay? They're, right now, if you leave it at, at the present rate, their rate drops 51%, okay? If the 60% of people that are on flat rate, no, no, don't shake your head, because Donald, tell them, is, did your rate drop or did it increase His when you bill went? dropped, not his rate. His bill dropped. His bill dropped. Their revenue dropped to the town. Yeah. That's what I'm saying in here. He wasn't using as much water when and measured oh, by Oh, now wait a minute now. I'm sure that he drank just as many cups of water every day when he was on flat rate than when he was on meter. Okay? Don't say he consumed less. That's a false statement. In all these statements, you know, uh, let, me, let me tell you something, John. I think all this is is just a ploy to force the people to the water meters, okay? That's what it is. We, you lost it at the polls, and now you're going to try to ram it down our throats one more time. The only two really? places I can find where there's room for discussion in this estimated budget in a psychiatrist's office. <laughs> Are you out of order? <laughs> is the pump and uncollected bills? We were instructed by town meeting vote to opt or an operating budget of 298,663. If there was any questions of operation of the water department, it should have been done there that evening to the water superintendent and questions there. How much we're are confronted, buildings you? Excuse we're me. out of order. We're confronted here this evening with an order from town meeting saying, we want you to spend $298,000 for operating budget. That's what we're confronted with. And that's all you people here that were at town meeting that voted for us to spend that amount. Make that's it where it should have been questioned. Make it we equitable. can't question it here tonight. Well, we have to pay those revenues. Well, and we have to get the bills out in two weeks to pay them. Make it or equitable. Or we begin to lose interest. Make it equitable. Okay. Or live within the budget you were allowed. The budget was passed at, at town meeting. What we're looking at is, is how are we going to achieve the revenues to come up with the $298,000? And it seems to me that when we take 83 cents, which is what divides all the water, and it just... By all the costs. By all the costs, 83 cents is what it is. But there's, there's the crux of our problem. We haven't assessed it. How much? How much aren't we accounting for? How much aren't we accounting for in the losses that we mentioned? And you suppose, you suppose there's one meter in town. I know there was an electric meter that was bypassed. You think there might be a water meter to bypass too? There might be one. I doubt it, John. I know yours isn't. You just did it. You just break the job. <laughs> but there is a it's extreme possibility that do, one do of them. Do you know of any of those? No, I don't. But it's then, possibility. Then let's not talk about it. Uh, let's not. But let's not assume then that all the well, water that doesn't get used by metered people gets used by flat rate hey, people. Mr. Cook, just bear with me for just a second. Mm. You, uh, everybody in town can come in every time the poor beleaguered water commissioners have to raise the rate and say, you don't know where the rest of the water is going. And the reason we don't know is because we got a lot of water going out at flat rate. It's not measured. I can't tell you where it's going. I can see where it's going sometimes when I drive around town. But I can't tell you who should be paying for it. I understand what you're saying. All I'm, all I'm, I guess what I'm driving at is we have to find out 
I mean, we know that we flush hydrants. We know we flush hydrants that are 8 inch hydrants. 8 inch hydrants get flushed for two hours. They must put up so much cubic foot of water out of them. I think that we can, we can take a stab at how much water gets used or something. Certainly not all the things. Water main breaks, I'm sure we can't tell. We might not even find them right away. Some may be leaking we don't even know about. I just think there's a more equitable way to use it without assuming, and that word assume leaves you open for an awful lot of comment, but when you assume that everything that doesn't get used by meter people gets used by flat rate people, then you've assumed that there's no other loss of water. I can tell you this, that the metered people, by paying 80 whatever cents we might vote here tonight, in that 83 cents is loss, leakage, fires, everything else, because of the way we calculated this. So we know they're paying theirs. What goes through their meter? Yeah. 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 That's paying and for I, the whole system. See, I'll tell you one thing I don't want. I, I, okay, certainly you, don't, you, I certainly don't you, want a month you, fight you, contest between the meter people and the non-meter no. people, because that's not what I intend for. Okay. It, do you agree with me that the way we calculated it leaves the metered people paying for fires, flushing, leaks, no. and everything no. else? No. No. Only on no. the water no. they no. use. Yeah. Relax, only on what they use. They didn't pay oh. for a fire. That's right. They only paid for the water that went through their meter the jar. Right. That's right. what, so Correct. that's not. At, at the rate of what? 83 cents. Which is the gross rate. Which is the gross rate. But it's the gross rate and only the net that they use. You'd assume that the difference, which is the true net, goes to everybody that's unmetered. So they'll pay for all the fires here, the fires there. They'll pay for the water meter guys' fire. So let me suggest one. something. <laughs> what rate would you like us to assign to meter people and have the flat raters pick up the difference on well, no, you did an awful lot of assuming earlier. Why water. don't we assume Mr. what Chairman. kind of water lossage we have? Then take that water off of our 34,000 or 34 million, 265,000, whatever it was, cubic feet. Right. Then subtract the known metered water that you have. Then assume a little bit closer to what the flat rate people use. Then try to come up with a budget. Okay, I think you have a valid point. The next thing we might discuss here is what rate of loss that you think is appropriate for this town. You guys are you're, you're putting the answers up. I don't know, John. I don't know. Okay. I, don't I can tell you what the... 15% I'm, right there. She said 15%. Well, you take it off that 55%, you come with 40%. Well, you can't calculate it that way. But, Why not? But, Why not? <laughs> well, yeah, because your figures don't work out right. Because, no, because it comes out of proportion. <laughs> the, the American <laughs> Society of Water Systems, or whatever it is, says that... Um, uh, there's about a 5% unrecoverable loss in any system. If it's, it's a standard. If it's a first class system. Well, this is a first class system, isn't it? Some parts of it are 80 years old. So we should raise the rate and fix it? Yeah. They should have been fixed a long time they ago. They weren't, Joe. But let me let me mention one well, other thing. No, I'm, well, we're getting somewhere here. You are, maybe, but we're not. Well, I'm with <laughs> yeah. some of the people over here. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Someone questioned the appropriation. This is the breakdown that I have. $1,652 to the town hall. That's for office space in that. $1,000 is going towards the administrative assistant salary. $500 to the secretary salary. $4,645 for fringe benefits. $7,500 for insurance. $1,000 to the town accountant salary. Four thousand for the audit. Two thousand is going to the treasurer's budget. One thousand to the collector's budget. Two hundred and two thousand four hundred and fifteen dollars water department. Seventy-two thousand nine hundred fifty dollars debt and interest, which makes a total of two hundred ninety-eight thousand six hundred sixty-three dollars. Now that I read them, that, that eight thousand must be in this part. Must be in the two hundred ninety-eight. So then that's eight thousand too much. That's three fourteen dollars. <coughs> Mr. Mitchell. Yeah. Sorry, Mr. Mitchell. You spoke before he is. Um, he, oh, yeah, yeah, I have a question. That um, how how can there's two sets of figures? Yeah. What, what's well, this? What's that mean, Mr. And and the, and the other thing is. Know. That there are uh, there's two sets of figure, dollar figures. Well, and this is combined having these numbers for two weeks and not. Uh, she just said she did it today. She did it today. 
Well, or that's why there are two listening? different sets of figures. Because she brought in a new set of figures tonight. Mr. Al, Mr. Al, Mr. Al, Mr. Al, Mr. Al, Mr. Al, one word. This is what is certified by the town clerk. Yeah. That's last year's, yeah. right? No. The, how much is it? Thirty-five million. You have pump. The treasurer gets a copy. No, no, I'm. The I'm, gets a copy. The I'm, going on. I'm referring to the gallons pump. Okay, you, you stated what, 35 million? Cubic feet or gallons? No, cubic feet, I mean, excuse me. 35? This is gallons. Okay, but when you divide it out, the gallons, it came to what? Okay, actual consumption. One of the reasons there are two different sets of figures is because there are different assumptions being okay. used in the This is right. actual well, consumption, right. what would refer right. to last well, right. year's budget, which right? right. Assumptions. Which one is right? That's and this is this proposed is budget for this year. This is Devine is using the actual gallons pump last year. Right. Uh, Ms. Crosby is using a slightly higher number to include for expand road use. Or perhaps a drought or a hot summer or something. Then it would be all used by flat rate people because you're using the gallons. Yeah. Yeah. All, of that, all of our figures are on us. Okay. Yes. You, Mr. I have one okay. Why don't you guys, the selectmen, increase what you need to operate for Even. a year evenly, set up a committee, come back to report to town meeting, and do what you got to do. That's included the, your major overhauls, your hydrant condition your school condition, everything. And then you can make a reasonable and the right decision. And no one can say, bring it as a report to town meeting. And no one can argue. There it is, the facts. You need so so more money increase, Mr. Chairman. increase them both accordingly. From my Even. two colleagues this evening, I basically heard two proposals. From Chairman Allen saying that there's approximately a 5% loss through fire protection leaks and from Mrs. Devine, maybe up as high as 15. I don't think Chairman Allen okay. said... No, please let me finish. He said lost the systems. Lost in the, lost system. in the whole system. system. Where, where it goes. Code, then, but no. Leakage, you know. Know. Uh, Unaccounted for loss. No. Unaccounted for loss. And I don't think it's... That's two different main things. Main-made parts. It's leakage. And there definitely is leakage. It's There's two different You know, and again, let me reiterate. We're, we're, we're talking 5% and 15%. My proposal for a metered rate would be considering a 10% loss in the system, okay, which would revert to an increase in the metered rate to 91 cents instead of 83 cents, and then we'd pick up the difference on the uh, on metered rate. Donald, did you take the 10% rate? off of the I, actual yeah, pump gallon? I, I did the calculation. Right here. What's the flat rate? The 35 it's going to have to be calculated, the difference. No, well, you're obviously 38. The okay, there's 10, another 10. that and then still use the actual percent. So use. meters are going up 20% and uh, flat rate, flat rate is coming down. They're going to go up 33%. Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't take it off of one and assume it's all yeah. onto the other part. But what you're, you're quoting is an unknown. No one can put a figure on that amount. Again, I know what Joanne told you know. me, and I know what you told me the meters used. Okay. If you know what they used, and Joanne says this is what came out, then I have to assume the difference is the flat rate people and whatever's lost to the system. Then you take 10% off of the total and still subtract your meter usage. Then I did. That's how I did it. But you did I work with 38. I started with 38 and I took... Start with 35, John. No, but we need 38 to reach $314,000. No, you don't. You can make $314,000 out of two gallons. They'll be approximately $167,000 each. Now listen, except for one thing. We've got to set the rate tonight. I understand that. But let's use what you know. Let's use what you know. You know what your meter use was. If you want to take 10% off, take it off what was used. See, you guys don't have enough facts. Then come up with a figure. I'll mean, I, I tell you how I calculated this. Um, this ought to be good. I added, if, if it was a 10% loss, it was a 10% loss, I added 10% to the water that would flow through someone's meter. Don't do that, John. Take it off the total. Well, then I subtracted 
the meter from the total and came up with the balance. Don't meter. take it off the total. You know the meter use. The meter's right. It's accurate. You've said it a million times. The meters are the only thing we know about. We know how much actually went through our pump over in, uh, the top. in uh, Mount Warner. So if we know 35 million cubic feet went through there and we want to assume 10% off of that, let's take 3,500,000 off of that figure. Then let's subtract the meter use because we know what they use. Then let's assume the rest is flat rate use. And then let's see how many gallons we have total. Let's divide it to find out what per gallon we need to get 314,000 and whatever dollars. And then you've got a rate, a weight or set a rate. Any other comments? What about all the losses in the system and as far as the, the, uh, the, the all the town-owned buildings, Mr. Cook? Are you taking consideration the town-owned buildings? Of I'm fires? assuming the 10%. I have, they won't let... Fires, well, wait a minute, they won't let. That happens. This is reality. I don't they, know. Come on. They, there, there's been water breaks, and there, and there will be water breaks, okay? We've had a... We, during the major construction in, in Hadley, when they were doing uh, Stockbridge Road, they dropped the water level in the tank by three feet. Down to three feet. Who accounted for that, John? John, that, accounted for that. That we, wasn't lost water. That was water was being consumed by people faster than we could pump it up. That water didn't advantage. When the water main broke, it was lost water. It went out. Oh, how long ago was that? Regardless, that happens know. every year. Okay? No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Don't tell me there is no water breaks in one particular year. Okay. Okay. Well, There's let's no account. That's, what I'm, else that's what I'm trying to say. There's no accounting you, for this. It's a step in the right direction. There's no accounting for this. How do we? How, how you do have we to make an accounting. When we for do it that way, John. Let's get to something. I've got other things to do, and I. You sure you've got more business? Thank you. What's? Where are we at when we okay, take three and a half million off of thirty-five million, not thirty-eight million? We got to start with thirty-eight million. How can we if we're going to use the meter usage that we have actual usage? I, I think I can satisfy you after the meeting. I, what I can't. What's the matter now? Don't ask now. 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 Mrs. Devine may be using a number that is a low year. I have the three-year average. I'm using 1989. That's pretty good. I have the three-year yeah. average. That's one year. That's very low. What are the three-year average? Let's hear them. Uh, 283. What's Two, the, what are your figures for last year? Yeah, divide that. Gallons. Divide that by what? Eight? No, 7.48. Mr. Allen, did your last year... What does it come out to? We're, 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 but did you know last year's figures match ours? No. Uh, 266, yeah. They do match. Unbelievable. That's the first time you've been right tonight. Figures don't lie. Is that in gallons or in fire? In gallons. Well, let's keep them all the same way. What are we You make our rate in cubic feet. Let's stay with it. The rate is in hundreds of cubic feet. Right, but I mean, it's. We're, Let's not even involve gallons, because then we have to start right. multiplying by seven and a half or whatever, seven right. one four eight. And 100 cubic feet is 748 gallons. Uh, three, 37.9. 37.9 is what we're average, is, is what the average is three for three average. years. Actual certified nine use, not cubic feet. Let, let me do it again. Me those are right out of the, those are pump figures. Is that right? right? Three-year pump figure. Yeah, 37.9. Which would be the highest year? Would I, but I guess it would be 1987? No, it happened to have been 88. At 296. Oh, that's right. This, that was the dry year. That was the dry mm -hmm. year, yeah. Well, that gets us pretty close to 38 million, right? Well, it gets you with, with one that's obnoxiously high. What was the actual figures in that year? Uh, 89. I'm sorry? Which, which year? For 88, the high year. 296 million gallons. A really high one. And what would be the lowest one in okay. the last five? 89. And what would... Bob, uh, I don't know the other two years. Before. Okay, the lowest one would be 80. So let's just take... What, let's take the high and throw out the lowest, use a mean. and Just for an idea in my head, what does that come out at? The mean is 283. Not an average. The mean, mean, which would average. be 
87. 87 is year. You've got three years here. What, would 80, what was 87 usage? That's the mean. You throw out the high, you throw out the low, what you have left is the mean. Uh, you can't do that with what? a sample of three. Why not? Take an error well, you certainly out. can do it. You no, don't I have to use it, but I'm just asking what it is. No, I think you've got three years of statistics. It, it, it might be higher, higher right, because 266 is the lowest. Mr. Chairman? You know. So I think going back to the figure again of the 38.2 is fairly conclusive because we're 0 0.3 tenths of a million gallons away from that total, which is pretty close. For argument purposes, I think that's a good figure to use. All right, well then, stay with. then I would like to just question the fact that when, when we were going to make this nice little pack here and, and everybody get along, we were going to use Joanna's 15, which sounds to me to be fairly legitimate, and John's 5, which sounds like it's got basic reason to lost. He, his his figure is not figuring any use any other use of water but lost to the system. So he's taking a compromise halfway in between. You're lost to the system. Why has he used things that aren't lost to the system, John? Has it used the municipal buildings? We're going to meter them. We are going to meter, but we haven't metered them for this, this rate, fiscal year. This they rate are going to meter. They they that's fine. Everything will be super. But let's get this rate first because we're using figures okay. without it. So we have to come up with something else. So let's assume maybe 8%. The school buildings and are no longer a factor. And then 23, right? now we're up around The 4%. fire protection is the only factor here. Water breaks, I would say, would be calculated into your leakage in the system. It's a normal loss. I think we come, can come to kind of a deal at about 12.5% here, and I think that it'll be awfully close to really where things are going to happen. Yeah, you can't do 12.5% because I haven't counted it. 12.5. Mr. Chairman? Yes. Again, the metered people right now are, if you change from flat rate to meter, your bill will decrease by 51%. Depends. Okay. No, no, depends. On an average, 25 people, okay, taken on an average, their rate drops 51%. Now, just, just let me finish, okay? All right, you need more money, you're saying. I don't even know if you know what the total dollars you need. You know what the total bottom line is? You need three or 14,000? That's the bottom line we need. Okay, work. all right. Why don't you turn around and just jack up the rates at, uh, equally? The people that are on meter still are going to be paying approximately 51% less than the flat rate people, so those people won't be upset. And if the people that are on flat rate want to change over, okay. let them make that decision make it. on their own. The flat raters go up about, what you figure from 75 cents to 91? I think. This rate needs to kind of be figured out equitably, so doesn't really? it? Well, I, I think this compromise is moving closer to where we need to be. Okay, well, how do our figures look now when you take off, Nobody's when you take the 12.5% off? Huh? Uh, 10. Nice, nice try. You, it isn't, it's a no. nice try, it's a more accurate try, I think. Well, I think that 10. should be the byword here. We're more, we should seek to try to get to something more accurate. That's and right. taking five percent out of some hypothetical thing, look at Boston. What is yeah. Boston's loss? Thirty three percent. They pet that way back too. Bobbins right. Yeah, right. John, why don't you appoint a water study no committee? Committee, raise the rates up, raise the well, you need this in two weeks to get the We've bill met up. Two weeks. Okay. Raise the rates up to equal to 314,000 equally, okay? And the metered people shouldn't complain versus the flat rate people they use so because their yeah. bill is 51% less on an average right now. Why would they complain if it's, it's equally raised? So then their bill still would be 51% less than the flat rate people. Why, why, why would they complain? Why are you people afraid to do that? Just raise the rates equally until you get a better handle on this. Then appoint okay? the committee. Okay, then appoint right. the committee. I think we're getting a much better handle on this than we've ever had before. We're accounting for unrecoverable loss. Really? We are you don't know what the gallons are, John, though. I can't do that unless everyone meters and people don't want to meter. Well, wait a minute. That's what the will of the people are. This is a lot better than it was. It's democracy. Don't force them. Works both ways. Works both ways. John, don't force John, what what is what is wrong by In raising both of them equally? The thing about it is, if, if you took, you have two different sets of figures for figuring a loss. You got 15. You got five. That's 20 divided by two. You got 10. Now, if you go back to your chart, 
and redo your chart, you're going to come up with a whole lot of different figures there, and people are going to be able to see them. I'll right now, you're looking at 55. You knock 10% off of the, uh, the unmetered people. That brings them down to 45. That puts you pretty close to the people who are metered. Right. Uh, what, what I mean, just, for, just to show what the story is. You know, regardless of what we do, there are too many unknowns in here. We really? don't know. That's why we don't no, say. Let me, so don't assume let me all no, no, no. But the Please, unmetered in reality, people are let me talk about, about reality, that. okay? Mm -hmm. We don't know how many people are out there in the community that are going to switch to meters. We can't figure that out at all. That means lost re revenue or gain in re revenue. We don't know. It depends on the amount of people in the house. Some people could switch to a meter from a flat rate and pay more. Mm -hmm. It could be the opposite. Mm -hmm. Not and and this is what I'm trying to say. We, Never. It's education. Wait a Let Mr. Bichinski right. finish his thought. I won't stay okay. in long. Go ahead. You know, the big factor is people that are on the sewer and that are using water and paying for the new sewer system at that 248, 45%. If you can negate those people away and then just figure flat and metered people just with water, then you could maybe get in the ballpark a little bit closer. We're not talking but about But we that. don't know how many of those different people are switching. You know what you're talking about? It's all sewer. hypothetical how many people Why are, are you talking about sewer? Why are you bringing Because half of us don't have sewer. Because it affects their bill. The people that are on the bill. sewer that do not have a meter should have switched years ago. As soon as the rates went up to 245%. Because they would all be saving. Donald, educate Wait a minute. There's some guy with his hand raised in the back. You know, but... But again, the dividing point is the way I understand it. If you're on a meter and not a meter, the breaking point comes with about four people in a domicile. That's where the breaking point comes. If you have over four, you're going to pay more, more with a meter. Under four, you're going to say. But the big factor that comes in that nobody is figuring here, and it affects the whole budget overall, is one word and it's conservation. The more meters that go in, the more people conserve, the less money it's gonna to take to pump the water out of the ground and different things, you know? And we're gonna save in the budget and revenue that way. Donald, and these Donald, things are right? all unknown factors that you people are trying to get us this evening to make them known factors, which we cannot do. Donald, there's a the room. <laughs> well, you still haven't addressed that Oh, no, that's the biggest question here. You're talking compromise. Wait a minute now, you're talking compromise. Oh, and, you're, and you're arguing against any compromise if it jeopardizes those figures. Right. No, right. I'm not, right. we're right. off you can, those figures. No, no, you know, no, no. you should we're, change those and we're compromise. We're, we did, we're off those figures. We so now, this. now you can say, all right, we've got 40, what is that, 45? The top one, I can't see it. 45. Yeah. 45, and you figure 10%, the bottom is 45, 50 50. There you go. What's the rate going to be? Everybody goes up. Right. Everybody's going to go up. Right. Well, right. Even. That's even. It, right. It, it turns out to be that's the same what usage. What are you guys afraid of? For compromise for this year. It's, 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 it's the only compromise. You guys are afraid of making a right decision? You're saying put the metered rate and the uh, flat rate. Fifth. 50% each. No, no. no whatever it usage. Takes, evenly. Whatever it well, takes yeah, to make whatever. the just, in, just, even usage. Just, just for your information, if you account for 10% loss in the system, it means that metered users at the current rate of using would be uh, 15 million and flat raters would be 22. So the flat rate people, the difference after loss is still higher with flat rate people. What's the 15 million? I drive that to me. Okay. What I did here was to no, see. people. Uh, okay. The total, if you assume 10% loss. Off of the total that's pumped at the well, wellhead. What you got to do. John, the metered people, you know how much water, assuming their meter works. You got to okay. start there. That's, that's right. how much water they got. No, I, no. Mr. Chairman, that's we have to back up again. Going back to the metered rate at the 83 cents. We derived at that figure equaling 314,000. After listening to the testimony in here, I agree with you people. That did not calculate in loss of water. Okay? Now, that's between... Other, and a lot of other unknowns, please, please. And that's where we've got to change, I believe. I'm in agreement with that. But how much of a difference is our problem? We hear between 5 and 15. Other people are yelling 40. Maybe. I'm saying the difference in there should be 10% to add in, because the meter people are all the way to the top, in my estimation with the figures, 
Minus the laws of water. The top is what you need to balance the budget. Pay the budget, right. Minus the laws of water. Where does it come? We'll calculate what it takes, that figure is tonight, on the loss of water and subtract it from the total metered budget. How are you and then you're going to equal that 91 just take, cents again. Just take guess. 10 or 12 and a half, 15, whatever you want to take. And this will, your dollars will come out of 314000 Take off your arbitrary figure that you need to take off. Okay? Let's just take it off. And then you have so much water that you think ought to pay the budget. Divide that enough to come up to find out what decimal you need to reach $314,000, and you've got a rate. You can put it here, you can put it there. If you use a, if you use a water meter, if you use a water meter, your rate will be less. If you don't use a water meter, in your your rate, you've got you're using you're you're using a higher figure. You know what the figure is. You're assuming it. And if you're going to play God and assume it's 10%, well, by God, then that's what it is because you'll you'll be fine. And that's what I've done. But I if it's 20%, you may not have enough revenue. I do not know. And that's hypothetically well, that's what's we're gonna confronting tell you. us. That's yeah. what's going to tell and, you. And that's where I'm going from the 83 cents at the metered rate, which calculates the $314,000. Now I'm saying the difference of loss of water is pushing that metered rate up another 8 cents to 91 cents to calculate the loss. And, and, and what does that make the rate of the other water? It's coming down the amount of uh, what we raised in the metered rate. Right? No, you, your percentages are wrong. You keep, forget your 83 cents and going up 8 cents. Start all over. Find out what you know and then go from there. It's simple math. And if you're going to assume that hypothetical You're going to account for all your unknowns. Where are your losses? They can't. That's right. They That's can't. the problem here tonight. But I do hope I one thing. I, I've got some other things I've got to do. But there's one thing. If Joanne's right about the six or eight thousand dollars in the budget, I hope we can find some money to put some backflow preventers on some of these standpipes because they're already on. Good. Because we had a heck of a lot of trouble with spring. Yeah. One other thing. You know, any of the money that belongs in this budget should remain. Just before we entered this room tonight, the water commissioners were at were asked by the finance committee to give them $4,000 so they could pay health insurance and balance the budget for last fiscal year. Who's health insurance? They're for the town of Hadley employees. Uh, I mean, that and should, that, seems to me like that work the in the water department. Okay. They're asking the same of the sewer department. Why wasn't that in the budget? Because of the increases. We calculated like, what was it, 22% increase? And it came in at what? Thirty-six or something. We're off the subject. Now. You know. Off, okay. Yeah. If well, you account for, water. to answer your question in the back of the room, if you account for ten percent loss in the system, and you allocate it against the thing that we can measure, I mean, in the same proportion as as uh, whatever percent of uh, metered water is measured, we're going to add the loss to that for purposes of calculating where the thirty-eight million units went. Okay. Then what happens is. The metered use turns out to be 42 percent, and the flat rate use it turns out to be 58 percent. The flat revenues turn out to be 45 percent, and the flat revenues turn out to be 55 percent. That's a guess, John. So I, the, I, a guess. I, it, I, say those I, numbers again, please, John. Okay, here we go. Say those numbers again. Yeah, okay. Please. If you account for a 10 percent loss in the system, yeah. in the system, um, then metered use turns out to be 42%, not 37%. Which and suggests that we're moving... Follow it right to the right. Down. Let's stay in okay. the same. Uh, meter revenue 40. turns out to be 45%. 42 pay 45. Okay, so now... A lot closer than it was. Now down. Okay. Uh, flat use is 58%. Uh, flat revenue is 55%. I would say very close. I mean, now that's we're, just a guess. Now. And now we're three percent one way or the other, and we've done an awful lot of assuming. Yeah, that's a guess. What else are you going to do? <laughs> that's exactly right. I think we're we going to start, but I think now we're coming a lot closer to being where I, we need to be. What's going to happen here is that we're going to get where we want to, or where we have to get. No, want to is the word. No, one. taking into account your concern. Take this. Take yes, into sir. account. I think correctly your concern. Uh, it, the ten percent is our. I'm not sure that I agree with the ten percent. Well, but I think at least zero. If, I, if 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 this.
this room is shining a little bit of light on the fact that there may be some water that doesn't get used by anybody, and it's nobody's fault that it doesn't, then that's, I think, our intent. And I think the rates, the, the easy way to do this, John, I think, would make the rates the same for this year, and then let's try to get right. smart. Let's try to get smart, and then let's really get some figures to work with. Right. The, the, the real figures, John. Okay, I just want to caution you all that there is no way if unless we change the way we do things here, that the, that the data available is going to be any different a year from now than what we have today. How do you know if, if unless you try? If you appoint a committee to do this okay. and a have some professional more. input instead of the amateur way we've done it today, you may be better off next year. The, the, I, amateurs, I be better. the amateurs who oversaw this calculation were the DEP. John. For your information. They didn't look that easy. All right. Now, I think some very useful things have come out of this discussion, uh, particularly Mrs. Devine's suggestion of some changes in the meter bylaw. Uh, for example, uh, multiple family houses. Are some of those on flat rates now? Probably some old two-family yes? houses. Yes? All right. May Mazai, our secretary, says yes. What that means to you folks who don't live in one or don't own one is that you can have uh, up to a dozen students, I guess, um, most of them in soccer, uh, coming back every day with uh, and taking showers on your account. So maybe a good thing to do would be to change the town's bylaw vis-a-vis -vis multiple family dwellings and make sure, even if they're older than what our current bylaw says, they have to put meters in. Another excellent one uh, is some way to help people on fixed income cope with the cost of, of this vital utility. And I can think of several creative things we could do there. Uh, but I think we have to move Mr. on and say, right, because Mr. the bills have to go up. All Mr. of Chairman. those are situations that have to be dealt with at town meeting. Yeah. You know, Mr. if Chairman. anything that could be instituted today by this board, and if it takes more research or not, I would make a motion that we have our water department go out and recalculate all flat rate areas for fixtures, something that never has been done in maybe 20 years. We don't well, know how many people have... The, the, the reval team does that, doesn't it? Not with water, right? Yes. So that's what we're paying for. They're not up to date. That's our water secretary. Oh, Whose problem is that? A reval does the domicile itself, but not. they don't count sinks in a bathroom. They'll, they'll count two bathrooms, but it may not say a tub, a shower, a toilet, or a box and a half upstairs. Maybe that's our, our obligation. Uh, I don't know a water commissioning board that has assigned a check on fixed rates in maybe 20 years. Don, I no, think you really I ought to do something like that. But why? Mr. Cook, I did that maybe 10 years ago. I went and matched each water card up from each assessor's record. It took me several weeks, and I picked up all the extra bathrooms, outside faucets, and things like that. And there were even several that hadn't paid a water bill for several years because they weren't picked up, but that has been done maybe 10 years. Well, maybe but it's May Mazzai says that, they don't even, that even that isn't accurate, right? Um, not necessarily because some of the homes weren't going to. Yeah. Okay. All right, Mrs. Bull. I am a senior citizen on a fixed income. Two people live in my house. How many baths can we take? I have one toilet. I have three outdoor faucets. But I had, over the past two weeks, I had two people come, which I had to pay for, come and give me an approximate amount of what it would cost to put in a water meter for me. What it would cost me to put in a water meter, in the long run, they both said, put in an artesian well and tell the town to go to hell. Now, I do not want to do this. I'm happy with town water. Not really happy because it blew, it, the town water that we got a few years ago blew several of my coffee pots apart. And I had to have it <laughs> tested because, and I'm not kidding, when you have glass coming out of your ceiling, because that's a different story. You probably got the but, first water in the folks. Bottom good. line, no, it was when it was coming yeah. from that, uh, that damn swamp next to us. <laughs> You know, I don't okay. know what your situation is, but the average meter installation is approximately $150. That's Absolutely not. I'm saying the average. Okay. You must have a unique situation. I it don't know what it is. It is a unique situation, and if I have a unique situation, how many other people do? They would have to put the water meter down by the road. Right. Why? Why? 
They could not put it in the house because I've got the outside. She's got wise. I've She's got, got the outside uh, uh, water. If they put it in what? the house, I would have got a Y off the line. The line enough. comes from here, there's a Y off that goes to a stand faucet. Right. right. Then there's a pipe that goes into the house. And on the way, there's That's another right. Y that goes off to the stand faucet. Those are illegal taps to the system. No, they're not. No, they're not. They are. No, they're not. Absolutely not. What the hell are you talking yeah. about? I couldn't do it. You I don't know. I entered a system. Mr. Matusko wanted to tap off the house, remember, and you couldn't do it. No. For a new system. Yeah, I could have done yeah. it. But we chose. How many times you have. After the domestic service entered your house. These oh, are yeah. wise before, before it goes, goes into the house. Goes, goes, these come yeah. off before it goes into the house. That's what's not legal. They were probably put in 60 years ago. What do you mean it's not legal? It's in. It's been there ever since we built the house in 1950. It's my it. water. To do it honestly well, now, it would cost me twelve hundred dollars tomorrow to put in a uh, to put in a meter. Now I can get this from two different sources. Don, those meters. I can't afford that. I don't dispute that. I'd have to You're pay for in the house. house. Simple, easy go meter, not average. Those are the bottom line meters for your house. But it's, the actual cost, if the town of Hadley, and I know I'm going to mention that M word, which we wasn't going to mention. But let, if, if it got so that enough people got afraid of this flat rate just flying and flying and flying because of a few of us obnoxious users of water, and then the, the ballot question came again and meters came through, and you forced the people into using meters, and, and in a way that it read that you will be fined by us, I mean, we even had the fines figured out already, $25 a day for each thing that wasn't done. The actual cost of putting in the meters I'd like to see a research on that. I bet you'd be over a million dollars in this town. We want to get a grant to put it in. You tried we it. We would have to pay for Well, it. I thought the ballot question and stuff, and here goes the N word again, but I thought it said that the people will be responsible for the cost and the scheduling of the work. The, the ballot I never, question didn't say anything about it. There, there's no grant. The ballot available. question on a town election read. Well, that's a contradiction. Ballot question. Okay, yeah, sorry. Ballot is a ballot. Yeah. At the election, sorry. My mistake. Said what? It said that the the town will be required to go to meters by such and such a day of such and such a year, and every one that's not metered will be subject to a twenty-five dollar day fine. I mean, those are the numbers that I remember. Mr. Cook, an answer to that, where you said it's going to be over a million dollars. There's 953 flat rate systems in this town, okay? Thousand. Times $150, roughly, comes out $15,000 to be there, the amount of people that would remain in this town. That's 150000 not 15000 my friend. It's 150000 hmm. Not a million, then, either. Well, Maybe no. 150000 That's using your figures, and if you want to do all the work, I'll tell you what, I'll go on meters tomorrow. <laughs> you know, it'd be different if the town received a grant for 200000 or something to put them in. We're not saying to put meters into anyone. That's up to your choice. Our option as water commissioners is to do what is right for the town of Hadley. And fair. And fair. That's and we are trying to apply for grants for X amount of dollars to get it from the state, uh, Commonwealth of Massachusetts, at no cost to the town to put the meters in. If we receive a grant like that, fine. But then we still have to go to town meeting to have the people accept it. Well, they may not approve to take the grant. I don't know. No, no, to the people. That's, that's right. That's not what we talked about before. Okay. We never mentioned grants. But the chairman? Just a minute. Mr. Cook, can you hold for a second? Yeah. Okay, this is one good. final statement, then I'll shut up. I was, told, I was told that it was going to cost me between twelve and $1,500 to put in the meter, to honestly put it in down by the road, OK? It was going to cost me $1,800 to drive an ITGL. If I put in the $1,200 or $1,500 meter, I'm still going to pay the town. If I put in an $1,800 ITGL, <coughs> I can kiss the town goodbye. Yeah. Mr. 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 Okay. I would suggest, you know, there's so many unknowns here that you people appoint a water study committee raise up the revenues for what you need to balance your budget okay let this water study committee come joanne's got some ideas donald if you've got some ideas everybody pull their ideas 
Let's get them into this water study committee. Come to the town and let's hash it out right at the town meeting. Okay, raise up the rates what you need to balance the budget. For this okay? year. There's too many unknowns over here. There's too many unknowns. And the people that are on meter right now, on an average, they're paying 51% less than the people on flat rate. They won't complain, I'm sure, if everything is raised equally. And if the people that are on flat rate think that's unjust, they can switch over to the meters voluntarily. Okay? And also educate the people. Get it out in the news media. Tell them what you got to do. If we need grants, educate the people. Don't come and try to tactic like this by raising it 53 percent. You know, that's poor. Plain poor. Well, well, you know, what you don't want to happen is people tapping the aquifer, okay? Because it's going to come to that point. Wait a minute. There's no laws against it, okay? Wait a minute. And I'm are, telling you, John, right uh, now, that's about, what's going to... Hey, there's a businesses that are thinking of doing that. I know of people that are thinking of doing that. Okay? So in just raise it equitably. Yeah, yes, yeah. in this town. Yes. So raise it equitably. That's right. That's right. There's no laws against tapping the aquifer. No. Okay? You can't stop it. DEP can't stop it. There's no law against it. Okay. So just raise it equitably. Appoint the Water Study Committee. I, I think Mr. Pichinski's suggestion. Wait, is raise it equitably. Ten percent. But Mr. Prince, the math is not good. We've already gone okay, through that. Okay, that's right. The maths are bad tonight. You went along with John here on his Simple. math, right? You're go back. To I know. I know. Math. Math. His math is great. It was yeah. maybe the so, okay, thing. what are we at on your last proposal, Mr. Chairman, here at the chart? It's right up. I don't know. Throw in the waste there, there, but, uh, Who said that? I thought you did. Well, let's see. The amount of revenues you're saying, Mr. Chairman, on the on the metered rate is 42 percent, and on the flat rate is 58 percent. That's what it appears to be. And then you would make a proposal for the revenues to be 45 percent and 55 percent. That's just an assumption. I agree, it's an assumption too, but if it's close to the 10 percent reality that we discussed here all night. That's not I think fair. That's the best we can do. I'll go forth to make a motion oh, for it to be uh, the Brand meter down. would be 42 percent in the flat rate, 58 percent. That's not what it's no. Says. No. No. resulting no. into no. the revenues no. uh, being the metered rate would be 91 cents. Yeah. That's right. not calculating off the difference, though, right? Yeah, it is. That's taken into account the leakage. No, no, just raise that's it equally. If you don't raise an income, yeah, John, you are going to have you are going to have That's calculating as a 10 percent. Raise it by a percentage equally. That's well, that's right. the same thing I said before that I wanted to do initially. And what change is there from there? What what did you receive? You know, we've got. All I did was to calculate for Mr. Cook. I, I don't know what transpired. The ratio we need. Donald, no, who's going to complain if you raise it equally? Raise it by a percentage. Who's going to complain? He don't want, those two don't want to listen to no one. I think, no, they take a I think it would certainly it would right serve now. everything well. Is in, everybody admits we don't know. We don't That's know right. where the water is. So why, if we don't know, we do only thing we know is we need $314,000. That's what they're saying. We know how much water went through there last year. Figure out if you want to go by your new figure, that's fine and dandy. Divide it by what we need, assess the rate accordingly, and let's see what happens. By percentage. I've got a question for my colleagues. If we increase meters by 50% and flat rates by 50%, do you feel all people are being treated justly? Yeah. No. You're not going to say the same. I'm asking my colleagues to comment on this, please. Well, They've got to make the vote. You can ask them, but Donald, it doesn't. Well, wait a minute. You're, you're out of order, Mr. Cook. He asked the question of the board. But uh, before it's you no react, relevant question. Before you ask, well, react to the answers. They may tell him it's a loaded question. I, I don't know. Uh, let me see the chart here. The question was what? If you raise them equal. That's what I... Well, what do you mean by equal? 50% each, apparently. That's each. what I asked. That's what the audience asked. And that's what I asked raise my it. colleagues. So I multiply, would accept that. So I multiply each no. number no. by no. 1.5. Whatever the percentage no. you no. need to raise it up to $314,000 equally. That's, that's what he's saying. Well, equally based on what? The final on the water is figure. now the versus money. what? I did. Come up with a rate. I did. You want to know what it is? Yes, right. I do. 91 cents for metered... And the yeah, but does not no, equally. never mind. Raise for meter equal. Today it's all the same, isn't it? 
Is it all the same today? No. 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 Where, where are we at on, on rates right now? 75 cents. And, and you get charged per cow per... I, oh, okay, I understand. So, but they come up, and, and what rate are we charged at? By the way, interesting okay. question. Cows are charged about... 70 gallons a day? Well, wait a minute. Cows are charged right now about two bucks a year, right? Yeah. At the last hearing, Mr. Fitzgibbon said they consume 70 gallons they a day. Do. They do. And that's a that's, farmer. Then a cow ought to be, is drinking water at the rate of the cost of about 27 bucks a year. We're charging two. No, that's the way it is. We ought maybe cents. sell building lots. I don't know. 63 cents, per 63 cents of the proposal would be 97 cents. Okay, now raise it up equally and then and get your water study. Okay. Uh, John, maybe I, we should be selling okay. building lots. I, I'm go down. Go down. Go down. I don't know. And see if I get where they're coming from first. Okay, if we take this 37% and 63%, okay? Forget it, it's wrong. This is what they're looking at, basically, and everyone is. The factor of the 10%, uh, okay? Make this 47, make this 53. Okay? How did you come up with that? 10%. The 10% of losses. We're taking it from this one You're on the unmeter. The numbers and guessing with and the we're putting it. We have to come up with some figures Let's somewhere. Let's try There's 13 a, done. Wait, don't interrupt. We're, Let's just try just 13. Wait. We're Let's waiting at the, at the 10, okay? So we're at 47 and 53% here now, right? Now, what you're proposing is saying this should be 50% and 50% increases in the rate. No, is that wrong. What you're wrong. I want Increase it evenly, not 50%. If you need a 20% right. increase. Get up to the board and tell us what you mean. No, no, all yes, I'm saying is there. 20% increase. Nobody knows what you mean by equally. Get up here and show us. Those figures I can't even use because I don't even know what those figures are. Yes. I, those aren't my figures, John. figures. E raise and the rates up equally. Loss, I came up with 48% for meter use, 52 for a meter. Okay, so that's close. That's 48 and 52. Let's go, and then what else did you come up with? Because you've got some homework done, and they'll read it. And I've got 47 and 53 there now, going, okay. right? Do we have? Do you have some okay. rates bigger, too? Do you? Donald. This is going to rhyme the reason. These, these two are trying to communicate, it's real hard with them. Yeah. You know, I, am I on the put. same level with you now, Joanne, at 47 and 53? Changing those I figures, calculating the 10% loss in. I, I okay? Now what I'm saying is take the 47% and the 53% and attribute a 50% increase to both of those. No. To balance the budget. Donald. Your budget went up 50%? Whatever the cost is. Donald. Donald. Well, equally. Don't say equally. a 50% increase. Equally. Half towards the meter and half towards the flat rate, Mr. Chairman. which is 50% each, Okay. assuming to balance the no, budget. No. Yeah. Mr. Fitchinski has the floor, now wait till yeah. that thought sinks in. Is that somewhere with the yes, way you're thinking, about. Joanne? To come to that figure adjusted for the 10% of the loss, which I attributed to the meter people right away by pushing them to 47, okay? Now, we brought the 63 down to 53 because we no longer want them to assume any of the laws. So we have 47 and 53. That's the amount of use we're going to use to calculate our budget, okay? Now we want to reach $314,000 on saying half goes to 47% and half goes to 53%. Okay. Donald, that's not equitable. I think it is the way we figured well, with the I mean, loss just and the meter rate. We're already up to the highest rate. Donald, you you're assuming 10 percent. Yeah. You're assuming 10 percent. Here all night over. That's right. So why don't you just so. raise it up equally, whatever you need to balance your budget, and the the flat rate people will be paying more. They'll be paying 51. Yeah. The, the meter people will be paying 51 percent less than the flat rate people. Okay, yeah. raise it up equally. The meter people will not complain. Hold it. Right? One person at a time. Well, that's what I was talking. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, do you want to talk now? You were talking so loud, you couldn't hear Mr. Well, Cook I mean, wait a minute. I was talking. You were both talking so loud, I well, couldn't hear either one of you. Tell them one person at a time then. Go ahead. <laughs> No, you see, John, you see what I'm trying to say? No, but... There's, well, no, there's, there's too many uncertainties here, okay? You're, you're guessing, always going to be able to say... You're guessing... Stop. You're guessing... Stop. 
until the town, uh, and less than until the town is metered completely, right. he, the people are always going to be able to come before the water commissioners and say, quote unquote, there are too many uncertainties here. You can't That's set a rate. John. And I'm saying, educate wait a minute. People. I'm saying wait. this board's got John. two weeks to get a water bill out. That's right. Hey, absolutely. We're going to make some assumptions. Get it out. Alan. John. Do you have right now a total figure of revenues you get from metered? Yeah. Yes. Do you have a total figure? Thirty-seven percent, John. It's up. To Wait a minute. Total dollar figure. Yes. Okay. Hundred seventy. Well, under the new rate, it would be one hundred seventeen thousand dollars. No, the existing rate right now. All right. I'll multiply this by the ratio of forty-three to uh, I mean no, seventy-five. All you have to do is ten percent times one hundred and sixty. No, wait a minute. Doesn't work that way. No. Get your total of your metered and your total of your unmetered, and then multiply both of them by six percent and see what you'll get at the bottom line if that'll raise your bottom f f figure at three hundred fourteen thousand dollars. Meter charges for a six month period. According no, for the whole year. $53,727.80. Okay, that's $106,000. How much I for that? I came up with exactly with $106,000. Okay, how much is the unmetered? How much is the unmetered? The rest of them. <laughs> okay. Now multiply, wait a minute, now multiply that 106 times either 6% or 3% and take your unmetered total amount and multiply that, your existing revenues right now, and what is the bottom line going to be? You know, because I'll tell Will you that be enough money to reach the 314000 Okay, let me tell you something. Um, and then you, you raise both of them as an equal percentage. Yeah, he's, I think we're getting it right mm -hmm. now. He's just going up by what your budget went up right. a year ago. Just increase your rates by that amount. If everything that you've assumed is right, you ought to be right on the money. Right on the money. You'll have the money there. And, and everybody's treated equally. And, so and if you take your metered 106, multiply that times 6%, take your unmetered and multiply that times 6%, what is the bottom line you're going to have? Flat rate charge, according to this, for six months is $65,178. 65? So that's... Six months. So All right, double so double it. So double it. So you right, add those two together. 36. So multiply that times 6%. What do you have? Both of those figures. Okay. If, 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 if you, pardon me. No, what do you? Everybody is throwing darts at the wall. It's not what, darts. I'm sorry. What you bottom, have to do. Bottom line. What you have to do, or what this board has to do, is come up with a rate. That's right. A rate. That's right. You, you can't be doing it the way you're doing it. Well, you, how do you do it? The way you do it, and, hey, you got to do it in a, in a intelligent <laughs> engineering manner. There's no engineering into this whatsoever. Well, this is a each bill is increased six percent or ten percent. Yeah, I know. There's no engineering into that whatsoever. Okay. The really I talk to agree with the way I calculated it, and they. But there's no engineering into that. Well, what do you mean there's no engineering? There isn't. We're using math. Yeah. Engineers use math. Well, I mean, you've got engineering that requires your water loss and things like that. There's no engineering this whatsoever. What? Your water loss is in the line. All the unknown factors. I've got 10% water That's loss. That's your assuming that. That's your assumption. Mr. You, you can't know. measure water loss you accurately in this town because we have flat rate people you and know. we can't tell John. where the water's going. Take and raise up the rates to what you need equally. Appoint a water study committee no. and we know and then educate the people, okay? Educate them. If this is the case that their rates would be 51% less on a meter than flat rate, educate them to that fact. And then they'll do it on their own. I think the most equitable thing we could do for all the users in this town is to assume a rate of loss. We'll come up with a better number a year from now and an even better number a year after that because we've instituted a leak detection system. But for now, Mm -hmm. The most equitable thing we can do is assume a loss, right. assign proportionate value to the losses, right. to the two classes. Yeah. And, and you're so rates. close, and you're so close with these figures here now that you 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 should just turn around and raise them equally. That's how that's how close you're getting there. You same percentage. What do you guys got to do? We're real close. Why? If we're real, we're real close. Yes.
I'm saying what your difference is, what you're talking here. Yeah, there is a difference. I'm saying if you're on meter, you're 51% less than your you're flat rate. Yeah. Don't. That's a big difference, but if the people choose to be on flat rate, let them be on flat rate. They're still going to contribute to the system. Mr. Allen, the only difference is going to be here is it's going to show the people that you're not forcing people to go to the Really? That's, that's all it is. Yes, you are. Before and after the board sets the rate. Right. After we've raised 314000 people are going to have a choice as to whether they're going to... But if you go accordingly to the same percentage, then this board is not arbitrarily That's right. forcing so me, anybody folks, what would the rate, force it to go to the meter. What would the rate be for a metered person? Can't you just Six percent on top of that? You have to recalculate that. Six or seven percent over... That's right. What do you want to use for figures that the meter... You it's know, 75 cents 100 cubic feet right now. Tell forget them. it. Forget that. Well, tell us what the new rate would be. What is, what, how much money do you have to raise? You're saying 314000 How much more money do you have to raise? That's it, 314 No, no. How much more money do you have to raise the rates? A hundred something thousand. You have to generate a hundred something thousand. You don't know that. Yes, they know that. I mean, that's what we got to know. How much, and that's how you can determine your, your meter rates. They said 130. The budget's up because the uh, health insurance is going over and over. No, they need they need 100 something thousand units. Not off the top of my head. Last year's budget. Last year's budget. We'll raise it up to 236,000, I believe. 236 from what she's got there. That ain't hard to figure out. What you need this year? What's the difference? So that's not a very very high percentage if they're equally raised. Seventy-eight thousand. Seventy-eight thousand. John, you were running in a hole here. What? I mean, our projected water income is nowhere near what our water budget is. Is it thirty-three percent difference? By well, I don't. Now you're off on another tangent. Well, no. <laughs> uh, just double. I'm just doubling Joanne's figures. Don't do that. She's using a low rate. We're using a more conservative don't rate. Don't do that. I didn't use any rate. Can't use that. This is what we calculated the amount of people appropriated. <laughs> I understand. I'm just, I'm just working on what you've got to receive. The first separate discussion. Give me a rate, Joanna. What is your proposal? Let's get that out in the open first. If you've got it calculated. I think we're on the right track. You're saying 50%. I think we're equally raised, right? Right. Yeah. It only amounts to maybe what? Six percent less than that. Divided by, wasn't it? Give me the gallonage. I mean, no, never mind. Cubic feet. Thirty-eight point two six million two six million cubic feet. That was, isn't that what you used with the new figures? Let me get this across, Joanna, and see if we're right. What you're trying to say, in essence, is whatever the difference between last year's budget and this year's proposed budget, be it maybe $75,000, you want that raise proportionally equally. Right. 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 Everybody's bill goes up 6% or the same percent. Sometimes you think these reporters are in or what? Very high At a different yeah. meeting. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, we could do that. We were still calculating. <laughs> 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 That's right. They're both being treated fairly. John, as you get older, you start to just say what you want to say. <laughs> That's right. It doesn't matter anymore. Nobody listens to Nobody listens to anyone. Nobody listens to anyone. Nobody listens to anyone. <laughs> I'm going to just tell you what. Point. Decimal point. 314. I'm not sure if the next round is going to be going. So many times I've said, that's not the meter, right? It's just a meter <laughs> revenue and a non meter revenue. Right. You're right. I agree. We've got to get to the bill too. Here we go. I have a motion. Mr. Chairman. The press box. Oh. I have a second for the press box. What? To adjourn. Yes. Okay. If you people raise the rates, and yet you know you have all kinds of repair rate work out there to do, 
And if you go accordingly, wait a minute. If you if you go accordingly, the same percentage over. What you, the board no, shows. no. Forget about the. You just did it here. You took. You go to the board and illustrate your point. Okay. So these guys are working in the corner over here. You get up there and work in that corner. I'm going to the bathroom. Right. I'll turn the chair over to Mr. Jitsky and we'll be back in five. No, why? You're holding I'll be right back. Just show me okay, the When you come back, I'm going to take a piece of paper. Put it on. Put it on. Put it on. Presently, 75 cents. No, no, the total is 83 cents. No, 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 total dollars you got for meters. Total. This is 1989, right? Yeah. Okay, 1989 metered rate was $106,000. i am rounding these off. Non-metered rates was 130000 Roughly 45% for metered rates and 55% for... Non-meter was how much? 130. 36,000 right? 230. 236. Okay, now you need how much? 314. 314. 314. Okay. What's the percentage? Right here. To add... Multiply times this to get that. Meter. I need, I need to divide this one. Subtract the three, uh, 236 from the 314 to start with. See how much you need. How much different? 78,000. 78,000. 4. Okay. 78. 78. 78. Yeah, and so if you, you will do this accordingly, a certain percentage, to reach this figure, and even if you went over that figure for improvements and repairs. Then, then establish a committee and come back to town meeting and say, look, we need to do this. We need, uh, we need to uh, fluorinate the Callahan wells. We know we need 300,000 yards. And give a full report to the people. And they know, they know the whole status of everything. And they stop this arguing, this bickering, but just go over to a certain percentage across the board, and you're all done. You know, for, for one year, the town isn't going to sink. Right. I think that that's just. For one year, yeah. everybody will and be then, happy. And then yeah. the people of this town are not going to say the board is still there, but are forcing people to the They're not forcing the that's the, most, well, that's, that, well, that's the most just and peaceful way to do it, and, and to stop a lot of this bickering and Donald, and then turn around and tell the people, educate them, look, at your meter, your billings could drop by as much as 51%, and that, that's happening on an average, if you go to meter, and let the people decide on that on their own. Educate them, okay? And some of that, some of that loss in, or, or drop in their bill is probably due to Conservation, really? wouldn't you suppose, Don? A great deal of it is. Okay. <laughs> and if we pump less water out of our well, does it cost our town a heck of a lot less to pump it? Should. If we pump less, yes, oh, yes. definitely the amount of electricity yes, would, re would be reduced. Okay. So because have... I just, I mean, if we start saving all this water, I still don't hope we don't have to divide a smaller number of 100 cubic feet into $314,000 because then all we're going to do is have. A, gra a vastly inflated water rate continually. You know, people are not unreasonable in town. I really think rather That's than right. aggravating them, give them a fair, equal mm -hmm. deal That's and present right. the truth to them. And Don, how this figures out, if we go to the 47 percent usage for the metered right. people, and we need $314,000, and it's only fair <laughs> if that's the usage, then they pay 47 percent, then that rate will be $1.03 for metered people. And then you'll have to go the other money coming from the unmetered people. How much? That's that's what the meat book just it right. on my calculation. <laughs> Bring it back. Dollar three. Okay. Dollar I don't think your calculations can be right. Well, I'll just tell you how we did. I don't know how you did this, it. Oh, this is what we did. We took the figure of three hundred fourteen thousand dollars. That's how much money we need. That's what we need. Okay. And we took forty percent, forty-seven percent of that. Which is what you, uh, which figure is, that you arbitrarily which came is the up arbitrarily with. Figure that you Back have. up, go to the beginning again. That was I missed the beginning. Well, okay. the beginning you put on the board. Okay. We changed it to forty-seven percent. Okay. Okay. Forty-seven and fifty-three. Right. Fair enough. Okay. Okay. So, but three hundred fourteen thousand is what we need. Right. Forty-seven percent of three hundred fourteen thousand dollars is one hundred forty-seven thousand dollars in pennies. Divide that by the amount of water that actually went through these. Calibrated meters, and that figure is. What do you see? 
meter. I just, where are the, the figure like Multiply that by your percentage, and that'll give you your $314,000. I went with 47 You need I was told. And right here, meter, the 14,327.500 cubic feet. That's how many hundred cubic feet they are. Mr. Cook? Yeah. Yes, sir? Can I stop you just for a second? Sure. If you get up to a dollar nine for a metered rate, dollar three, dollar three, three, three times, then you're over dollar uh, three. You're probably up to twenty four percent loss. That should end up at three hundred. No, no, I'm not. Yes, I'm, you are. Well, I'm only That's using that charge. You have the whole rate. Multiply one hundred thirty thousand dollars times three percent. There. Three hundred. It's up there somewhere. All right. What else? Not Go writer. start. We'll start. What else do we know? We have an estimate of how much we have, we have an estimate of how much gallons we're going to pump, right? Let's. I think. Okay. Yeah, we'll we'll go ahead and go time here because Joanne and I, I think, are on the same level with you too. I'm not sure when you count. I mean, you have to give me a rate. Get a rate off. The rate is going to be charged equally on the amount of our budget increase. Right. Our rate isn't going to change on what we have today. Okay. On uh, the 1989 revenues are going to remain the same. When we talk 90 revenues, that's where the rate is going to change. And it's solely going to be on only like 80,000, and that's going to be divided equally and added to the 89 rate. See where we're coming from? The rates we're presently charging the people today, they're happy with. Okay, the meter rate and the flat rate, right? Yeah. They don't have a problem. Right. Okay. 0.33%. No, no. Three. I'm saying if it'll work out mathematically. I'm not sure if it will or not. It won't work out mathematically because right. the... Because the per the amount the percent of revenue raised by metered people is le is um, different from is a is a different Less. ratio. So if you do it at equal percent, you're going to be raising different amounts. So I don't think it'll work. But, no, but what I did? Yeah, because the rates aren't the same already. Yeah, let's just let's go back to what we knew. It will. We need three hundred fourteen thousand. The there you go. You need three hundred fourteen. We're pumping thirty eight million. You need seventy eight thousand dollars. Let's go back to you the. You got to figure out what percentage the meter okay. people are using. I'll, I'll get to that in a sec. Okay, right. we're going to use your figure of forty seven percent. Okay. No, no. Let's let's go with known facts. Okay. Three fourteen. Thirty eight million cubic feet. Right. Wait a minute. Thirty-seven. What's that got to do with it right now? I'll show you now. Oh, okay. Thirty-seven. Okay. Go ahead. We also know that metered people have measured a use at fourteen million cubic feet. Not yet. Yes. Not yet. <coughs> first, first, off of this. Went, went through their meter. Of, no. We know that. Went through their meter. No, no. Went out of oh. our wellhead oh. in Mount Warner Road. Uh uh. More than. What got, went through their meter went out of the wellhead? No, 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 no. 38 million feet went out of the wellhead. Yes. That's We know that. Now we have to assume this law. Let's take this I'll law. get to the loss in a second. No, you won't. Okay, You'll take it out now. Trust me, I will. 14 you, million cubic feet went through people's meters, right? Okay. Okay. Even Just write that down, buddy. 14 million. That's how we can move along. Here's okay. You need to now, increase it. Now, if sure. there's a 10% yeah. loss, so you got to add 140,000 to the million. Yes, you do. Look, John, John, the meters right are absolute, honest to God, meter use. There. But so that doesn't okay. count leaks. The leaks came <laughs> out of the total <laughs> to be right. the price of it. What they did up there is at the pump right there. If you took 10% right off of your 38 million, and then subtract and then subtract it 14, yeah. then you have a realistic rate of what right. you're going to charge the flat rate you the amount of cubic okay, feet no, no. that a flat rate no. user has. You don't take 10% off the meter because you they added it to the meter. Don't. Which That's is the same thing as taking it off the total. Well, well, it does work out That's to be the, the same, same thing. thing. You know, it's, 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 same thing, it's, right? This is going to give you an idea of what the Here flat rate users have used after there loss. Yet, no. Okay, we're going to take 10% off this. After their loss. You see what I did? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, we've got now 34 million 200 thousand, and we're going to take 14 million. And that was was that even 14 million? Well, you just yeah, keep around. yeah, whatever. All right. So now we have 20 million. That's elsewhere. <laughs> Flat rate usage. Flat rate usage. Apparently, Mr. Chairman. All right. Let me try. Let me try this. If we pump 38 million, 
and metered people metered 14 million, and there was a 10% loss, then of the 38 million, we can account for 15 million to metered people, including their percentage of the loss. It's coming through over here, I think. The sun's heating up the fog, it's getting a little thinner. Right now, that's, you take your 10% loss. I understand. Who's it, who's it, who's it assigned to? Who's it assigned to? You've got your 3 million I'm assigning total. It. I'm assigning we've assumed that we've assumed that the 10 million is out of the whole system, and we've assumed that all the meters are 100% accurate, and none of them are, well, that's are bypassed anyway. No, I understand that. There's so that's the constant. So if we add that, we're at 15, now we're at 15 million <coughs> 400,000 per meter fee. Is that right? 10% on to 14 million, 1 million 400,000. Yeah, it comes out to million seven. You're Carrier. right on target. Yeah. The balance of the gallonage of the cubic feet have to have been consumed, either leaked or consumed by flat raters. And that, and what leaked is... Well, that's the flat rate portion of what we're assuming to be the 10%. Is Okay. Okay. So now we have a ratio of the gallons pumped. We have a ratio of the gallons that leaked and went through meters and a ratio of the difference. We can now assign a pro rata share of the 314 to these right. units. I did that. And at 10% leakage, and I have a table here that rolls it up in 1% increments. Mm -hmm. At 10% leakage, the flat rate has to be 91 cents, and the flat rate for you know, all these incremental things has to go up by 1.32. You have to multiply by 1.32. Okay. The meter rate would be 91 cents. The meter rate would be 91 cents. Yeah. Now that's an increase Donald calculated in about 45 minutes ago. The increase on flat people is what? 70, uh, 91 over 75. Mr. Chairman? Just a minute. You're talking meter people. Yeah. Right. So, so they're getting the increase. And so are the flat people. But the bottom line is, I I've correctly assigned the weight of the operating budget to both classes. All right, that's fine. So now you've got to take that 15,400,000 cubic feet and multiply it by 91 cents and then figure out the balance to make sure you have 314,000. No, I don't take the 15 million because 10% of it leaks before we can measure it and charge uh, 91 cents on it. Well, no. Somebody's got to pay for that 10 percent. That's, why I'm, that's the whole point. That's why I'm thought. trying to tell you to take off, take off the 10 percent off the 38 million. Leave your 3 or 14. Right. You need the 3 You're 14. Doubling. Take the take the 10 percent off. That gets you the 3 to. Uh, we had it in up here, 34 million 200 thousand. Then take off your known metered usage, and you know what you want to have, what you need to generate. Figure out the percentage of 14 into 34, divide that percentage by $314,000, and then divide that by how many hundreds of cubic feet 14 million is, and you'll have a rate. Well, the problem with doing that, if, 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 if that way, is that all the loss gets assigned to the flat raters, and I think you started no, off the argument saying I'm that. I'm taking you're paying a higher percent portion now because you've got a, of a less figure, though. You understand? Well, you know, we need 314,000 no matter how many gallons we use or how many cubic feet we use. That's right. So if we're going to use 10% loss in our system, let's just take it off the top. Take it off of your 38 million cubic feet that you pumped. You pumped what was used and what you lost. It was pumped. I mean, if you didn't pump it, you didn't lose it. Okay. All right. Chairman? Yes, sir. I know, but it's still good. What do what you need is... What you need to increase your water budget is 78,000. Is that correct? Is that figure right? That's the increase? Oh, is right. that what you need? You no, had 236,000, uh, and not, you need 413,000. You need 314. You, tell me you need 413. 314. 314. 314. Okay, 314. Yeah. You got 8, and, you need a, and, and it's 236 is what you have now. You well, right. pay to pay that you collect, yeah. right? You need a you need to increase your budget seventy-eight thousand dollars. Right. Is is that correct? Yeah. If you say so. Not the well, budget. Well, I mean, the if revenue. that's a correct figure. The revenue, not the, the budget. The revenue. You got to increase your revenue. Right. Your revenues to balance your budget seventy-eight thousand dollars. <coughs> now, take you. You got thirty-seven percent is used by meters. 
43. Right? 37, I mean, that's what you're calculating here. 30, no, we're off that yet. We're on to accounting for some leakage. Up to 47 well, for the meter. Well, the leakage comes in in the 63%. You got 37 and 63. That's 100% usage. You know what the meter used. That's calculated. That's exact. Right? 37%. Right? That's, that's, what, these, that's what they tell us. Well, that's right? what it was measured last year. Right. The, no, no, these are projected to this year. It's 38 uh, million well, well, cubic foot, yeah. right? Okay. That's We're projected going. to this year. No, Current. <clears throat> so take 37, if that's 37 percent of the use, okay, on metered, if you're going to increase the budget, 78,000, okay, in, increase, take 37 percent of that 78,000, apply it to the meter. Take 63% of the 78,000, apply that to the flat rate. What about now that's equitable. Okay. No, Tell that's me what you've come up with as a rate. And okay. I'll check to see if it raises. All right, now what do, you, okay. what do you need? Because no, the flat rate is a pay for all the law. That's right, right, they're still done. paying for it. They're Take still paying for it, but I'm just saying yeah, just don't look at it. for both you of them. Three hundred fourteen thousand dollars. Why do you get with the rate? What come out, kind of rate do you yeah. get? You know you can't what you just say. You take your assumption. It doesn't make any difference. The three fourteen is not the same. You're taking ten percent off. Okay. We end up with thirty-four million two hundred thousand out of that well. We know the meter people use fourteen. Figure the percentage of that one and divide that into your 314,000. That'll give you a rate for them. It should come up the same number I can get. Well, <laughs> it, I don't know, but it's the way to do it. it it'll be so you take the same rate. If you take the down that you're saying you're using and you multiply by 91 cents, then you know what the balance of the budget has to be, right? 3% is. I mean, that's almost like $180. That's not so so you need I mean, that would seem to work out. I think it's the same methodology. You're starting from different points. You know why it isn't working out? So people are using percentages like 37% for use. Listen, well, in actuality, they paid 45% in revenue. That's the difference. You're using figures that don't cross over and equal. Well, you can't use those figures because they didn't utilize... The only figures that we could use that would work, and it would be very quickly would be taking the 1990 water bills, whatever the revenues were charged per meter and per flat rate, yep. and raising them equally. Do it, and let's be done. Right. I've got something else to do. Right. right. You, know, you know, if I may make a suggestion, I understand what Why you're... Why don't you do that, Doc? Wait a minute, Jen. Jen. I understand what you're trying to accomplish, and it has to be done. It's as simple as that. But in the meantime, what has been suggested from the floor several times. I think it's a pretty safe proposal, and you might be a few thousand dollars off, but don't you think it would be worth it to have the people of the town convinced that you're working with them, rather than them accusing the Board of Selectmen of trying to do something against their will, and in the meantime, the town will survive one more year, and you can get the facts that were required. I don't hear any of much no. of what you're saying. These guys over here are working fiendishly, and they're, I think we're real close. Don's, Don's going to be running the money. Make that motion. Don's got a good work. idea here. He's got a good That's idea. Right. Nobody's going to get mad. Well, no, 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 seriously. I mean, you know, to have everybody working to together, I think it would be a good but, idea. You know, maybe an equity. I don't know if it'll work. What? It, it seems like it's going to work. Why not try it, Don? Don's recess for me. Don, move the motion. No, Let's no, go. Why recess? I, I, Why not you know, let him vote right here? Can, what do you want to do? Change his mind? Out. We can test your idea of raising it an equal percent and see if it does the same thing. But do it with a vote. You don't do it with a vote. You do it with a pencil and a calculator. It, it's got to work. If it needs to work, it's got to work. You're going to raise it equally. Yeah, you're going to get your you're figure. Gonna, you know the numbers. You're going to get your figure. You're going to do you it equally. You've got to get your figure. You're going to get your work. figure. Well, what we're de deciding then, are well, we going to pay... Race. Pay for what the people are using, or what they're paying for their revenues. See, in actuality, meter people are using 37 percent, but they're already paying 45 percent for that 37 yeah, percent. Yeah, but it's, forget the. They're actual, already paying 12 percent more yeah, than they should be. Don, forget that with the 10 percent loss. The 37 is now right. South Hadley. Yeah. Okay, yeah. but if but. Doing it your way is keeping it's the not my way. It's well, what I think. I'm it's sorry, the not numbers right. you've used. Do, doing the the way they're suggesting it up there is keeping the inequity the same as it was, the same relative ratio. 
and Donald is suggesting that we're a little more sophisticated, I think you're suggesting, that we're a little more sophisticated now, and we're trying to make it fair, so no Don't class forget, subsidizes uh, When you take out the arbitrary 12.5% we talked about, 10%, whatever, it doesn't look quite as obnoxious as it did on Correct. the drawing board. You're right. You're right. So I think what we're at was the 4753, right. and if you think you're so good to call it that, well then, so be it. But what they're saying is, as far as a compromise, if you get this and move on to something else, because interest is gaining on these bills, why not do it and be done? And then look it over, and if it needs to be done, then let's do it at town meeting. Bill, four back to square one, where I said initially, my proposal to the board initially an hour ago was 43 and 57. Right? So what do you got? 47 and, and 53. 47 and 53. And I don't know how the board feels on that. That's my motion. I'm going to make a motion that the board attribute 47% to the metered and 53% to the delivered rate. Okay, but what we need is uh, to work out for 91 cents. That works out tonight because I just did it at a dollar three, which we came up with before. Okay. It comes out to be forty-six percent for the metered people and fifty-four percent for the uh, unmetered. Fifty-seven percent. And it works out to ninety-one cents on the metered, or dollar. Works out to a dollar three cents on the metered. And you know, I know your chart says twenty-four percent loss and a dollar three, but I mean, you can't go by your chart. You've got to balance the budget. That's right. What you got to do. I'd be very reluctant to to vote for a dollar. Well, that's not up to me. I mean, I'm just telling you what I just figured well, out. And is that what that does? Is it it pushes it? I, I just have to check it. That's all. Well, why don't we? That's fine. Are you in agreement that you're going to assess it wherever it needs to be to get the three hundred fourteen thousand dollars at the rate of forty-seven percent to the metered people and fifty-three percent to the un flat rate people? What's the motion on the floor? Don made a motion. I made that motion yeah. so far. If the board wants to go with that motion. No, it's all inclusive. It's inclusive. Where have you been for the last time? Right. It's inclusive, all inclusive. Yeah. Who said that? No, that lady there. I was wondering right. where she was. Because that's what you're that's talking about. All that. You're out of order. She's addressing a member of the board of selectmen, and that type of comment uh, we don't. I need just want to make sure it's put in the paper. And nothing, nothing else is. I'm sorry, you're out of order, mm -hmm. Mr. Krimczynski. You made a motion. Though? The motion was 47 percent. On the meter and 53% on the unmetered. What is it now? Attributed to the budget. What is it again? To equal $314,000. You're going to get more than that. Wait a minute. Say the figures again, Don. 47 and 53. 47 and 53. You're going to end up a lot more than $314,000, Donald. Not a 47% increase. No, you no. 47 cent, 47% of the usage, of the money rather. 47 comes from there, 53 comes from here to total 314,000. It seems equitable. Not a 53% increase. It's not, yes. Right. right. Okay, so 47% of the cost will be assessed right. to the metered people. Is that what you're saying? That's right. right. You take 47% of 314,000. To the flat rate people. And basically, the difference is going to be on the amount of increase in our budget. And that's where you're going to attribute those. Yeah. That right. way. All right. And it doesn't make any difference how much water you lose. What is 47%? Now you're raising, now, now you're raising no. way more. That's over the total. No. No, you. He's, he's figuring that right. You, he's you're going on a dollar. There's going to be more than a dollar. No. He's going on a gallon. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Yeah, going from 75 cents to $1.03. three. If that motion passes, by my calculations, you're assuming uh, about a 20. Well, what's that? that you've got to balance the budget, though, John. It has it's, nothing to do. I'm not going to balance it on the back of the metered people, though. You're going to balance it. What do you suggest? Of the of the of the of the, ba of the budget has got to come out of the flat rate people. Well, that assumes it's over 20. Three, four percent leakage so in the system. This, uh, how much over? Yes. Well, in the meantime, check check that out because that's a very important. In the meantime, it doesn't. It, 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 John, well, it, uh, all it's just doing is, is right now. It's not that so much leakage like in the system. Really it's uh, seventy-seven thousand dollars worth of short money is leaking in the system that we need to take care of. It's not gallons. It's dollars. I think that method does not assign the leakage in the system fairly to the classes of users, and I frankly won't vote for it. Forty-one. Yeah. Motion on the floor. I made the motion already. It's on the floor. It's pretty close. Would his hand go ahead and say it out loud. Okay. At 37 percent, the meter users. Go ahead. 37 percent increase to the meter users. And how much of an increase? About 45. To the flat? They've gone up they've gone up six percent more than the other ones. Pardon me? We have seventy seven thousand dollars. We don't have twenty four percent loss. We have seventy seven thousand dollars. Okay. That's our problem. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna raise the metered people to a dollar three, a hundred cubic feet. And I guess you said that's a thirty seven percent increase. Now what is the increase for the flat rate people? What is their what is their rate right now? Yeah. How, well, how do you yeah. raise? Can't figure that. I'll tell you it's what. 53% of the 78,000, right? Well, it's got to be spread. Well, whatever. No. Then. Well, let's go, guys. It's well, it's right there, John. It's 100. No. It's, got, it's, it's 130,000. That's what you got to. That's what you got to come up with the flat rate. That's what they're saying you need. No, no. Okay, yeah, let's don't make any difference. You can multiply. Yeah. You got to multiply 47 percent. 165 thousand dollars. The use amount here. used here. And 147. Okay? That'll give us dollars. Okay, then we'll figure out the difference of dollars. What you need 147,000 per meter. You need 165,000. I don't think this town needs a dollar three, which would be among the highest in Hampshire County for a meter rate. Do you remember what the 27% total was? That 147,000 roughly speaking. Yeah, 37. We'll call it 100. And, we'll call it 148 just for round figures, okay? This is for well, the for 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 right? That, that's the that's only thing. Nothing else is going to drop. The way nothing else happened tonight. That, that's per 100. That happened. Nobody knows what we're doing. John, what we're saying is that. You know what's, what would make this percentage increase look a lot smaller? Is the percentage that we're short $77,000 is of $236,000, which coincidentally is also about 37%. Dollar two percent, uh, dollar three cents a cubic foot. What? I'm sorry. Three cents per hundred cubic feet. But that's about all. No, 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 no. That's what we have. Yeah. Our problem is we have two hundred thirty-six thousand nine hundred and three dollars. We need three hundred forty-four thousand dollars. Why not? We because have to increase our rates. Who? Our We're rates flattering. have to be increased mm. a total no, of seventy-seven thousand dollars. No, if you take the balance of the budget. Okay, the balance of the budget <coughs> These are is going to be assigned to the flat rate unit, of which there are 959. Hey guys, all I asked you for, what was the percentage increase of flat rate people? And this, okay. this will calculate this the right in a second. I hope. 47% would be a dollar three cents. A 47% increase on the metered people would be a dollar three cents. Well, shouldn't we raise, right? if you want to be equal, 1.02677. Tell you what. And if you want to be equal, shouldn't we raise the flat rate people by 37%? You raise it at 50 percent You don't raise it by a percent. We have raised no, by enough to get the, the dollars. The, the uses is already the flat rate users have gone that up 27%. Won't be enough, John. John. That won't be enough. Flat rate users have gone up 27%. Mm. Yeah, go ahead, do it. Okay, so now do this for me. Mm -hmm. uh, flat raters are up 27%. So that's 125%, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, their revenue in 
uh, was projected to be before the rate change. Their revenue was <coughs> 196,000. So, okay, with no leakage or anything like that. So multiply that by 125. 196,000? 196,753. It's about 246,000. Let him do it. 245,000. Oh, wow. All right, now, you want to raise the metered people to $1.3 cubic feet. Metered use was uh, uh, 14 million, so take 147,000. Just let these guys do it, and I'll announce the answer to everybody. Yeah. It's it's um, fourteen million three twenty seven. Hurry up, circles up. Forget those last two points. Yeah. Fourteen three two five. Is that it? Fourteen three two seven. 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 And yeah, 245 and 147. Here, 400,000. Yeah. Okay. Now, our goal was only to raise 314. You won't gain, you will not Hold gain. Hold it. Just. No, listen to me. Your flat rate over here that you want to use, John, you got to take 10% off of that because of the loss, it's not in there. You're not going to get paid for that gallonage. Okay. Only take 20 million gallons for the flat raters. Why, why is this figure so much lower than one that... Hold on, just, hold, just a second. We'll get to that in a second. I got a motion here. We don't have a second yet. Yeah. That would effectively raise... If you guys did the calculation <laughs> uh, Almost a half a million bucks. Second. And we only have to raise yeah. 314. So I'd like to ask for that motion to be withdrawn. John, it's not. Wait a minute. You've, ta you've taken some figures that we're not you using. Give me the numbers. No, no, no. Forget this figure. If we're going to work with these to get that first figure, then you're going to have to stay with that to get a second figure. Right. Yeah. You don't go and jump back into your swim hole. I told you to sit on that because it's it's screwing you up. You've got your ten percent included in there. You've said it every time. You can't take it from here anymore. Take it from here. What's you need, okay? What? You need three hundred fourteen thousand. The rest of it is going to be. You're going to get. From the well, other the projected, deal. if we go by the projected figures here, we're going to raise a lot more money, but based on our figures. But you're going to get $157,000 from the flat raters, which is what you need, and it totals $314,000. You can't go back and get the other figure from here. If you started from there, you got to end from here. Okay. So do this. What was that $245,000? How did you figure that? I took, he took the I big took the numbers measured, from before. The measured use metered people and I multiply it by your new rate. And that's fine. That's perfect. 147. We came up with that exactly. No, sorry. Yeah. Yes. Then what did you give us? Uh, then I multiplied your increase for flat people by the amount of revenue we raised last that year. That isn't how you do it. You take what the money, the, the, the gallage that they used. We don't know what it is. You told me they took, t lost 10%. Well, There's we, 20 million left. 20 million left. Then you, you get away from that. that. That's with loss or without loss? That's That's without without loss. loss. That's, no, it's with loss. So that you still come up with 300. Let's do it. Let's well, do it. Well, let's well, take. Hold it, folks. I did second Donald's motion. Oh, okay. that's second. Mr. Cook, do you agree with Mr. Pipchinski's motion? I agree with Mr. Pipchinski's motion, and it's going to come out exactly. If their figures are right, it's going to be right. Go if their figures it. are wrong, it's not. The board has a, a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Donald, yes. you're. Your yes. your motion is made like that, but your your bottom line is you're going to end up with three hundred fourteen thousand dollars. Right. Is oh. that your motion? Right. That's right. right. See, my figure base was based. And no on more. Donald. Donald. It, I don't think it's going to work out correctly if we change the percentages of use by ten percent. You're the one that used the ten percent. Well, what we did was see because okay, see, by using the difference in ten percent of the amount of leakage. It doesn't reflect the amount of revenues we need. The 37% is presently what the people should be charged on. The, that's what they're no, using no. on the meter grade presently. They should be 37% charged. they're using. They're paying 45% in revenue. You got to take that 10% so loss off. You got to take the loss off. We've all agreed 10% loss. Mm -hmm. If you take that off and you know what the meter people use, they use what percent they use, and it is the percentage that it is. And then you go from there. 
I, and I, with a flat with a flat rate customer, don't you basically have to come down to say, all right, we raised one hundred forty seven thousand five hundred eighty dollars from our metered customer. Okay, a dollar three. Was that was that right? Yeah, yeah but I okay. I'm well, wait a minute, wait a minute. We now have a balance of um, what one hundred forty five thousand. No, no, it's a balance of yeah, do the one hundred fifty three. 153, yeah, something like that. But you have 959 flat rate customers right here on this paper. It tells you how many customers you have. They have to bear the cost of that $153,000. Or whatever. Or whatever that figure happens to come out to be. And you take the, that number and you divide it by 959, and that's what the Do uh, average, okay, an average. Do it. Tell me what it is. $173.10. So, so now what we should do is have a real flat point. rate. Yeah, Everybody who doesn't have a meter gets charged do 173. Well, all you buy that. That's not. But that's your average. Right. Right. Well, that's what he's telling me. That's what it is. Well, that's great. Right. What about a person with a swimming pool? He should pay more. Well, how much more? Well, all right. That's not right. Average, how much more? You got your breakdown there. You should have. You should have keep the break, but increase the breakdown percentages. Tell me how much more. Okay. Whatever your Donald, breakdown is. Donald's figures. He had 47 percent on meter, which would equal uh, 103. Okay. 53 percent on flat rate fee. Okay. Which would be 166,400. That's not accounting for any losses or anything. Okay. Yes, it is. That accounted for 10 percent. Okay. That's 314 thousand dollars in revenue. That's what you need. You've got to raise your revenues to 340. Hey, don't tell me about the pain. Show me the baby. Give me the rates. Okay. One for flat. Okay. One I'm for telling you. <coughs> Multiply it out. And save your. I'm telling you, a dollar three cents on the metered rate. Okay. That would equal 147,600 dollars times that. Right. Correct. Right. Okay. Now, increase the flat rate. Okay. You need take fifty three percent of your four of your three hundred and fourteen thousand dollars. You do it. Okay? That's a hundred and sixty six thousand four hundred dollars. Yeah. Okay? So, Flat rate people are paying. All right? Add those two up and that comes up to three hundred and fourteen thousand dollars. So tell me what the increase or decrease for the flat rate people is gonna be. All right, there's no decreases here. Increase then give me the, the increase. Increase the uh, the metered rate. Uh, to a dollar three, increase the flat rate fifty three percent. Okay, and that'll balance that budget. Okay, and that's balanced. Your foot, Alan. Your flat rate now is calculated. Everybody went to bathrooms there. Right, right there. So fifty three percent over that. Whatever, to everyone, and there it is. Whatever their bill is now, increase it fifty three percent. Correct. Meaning multiply it by 1.53? That's right. Is that your, what you mean? Your flat rate now, multiply it times 1.53. What that's going to do, Mr. Michkowski, is raise even more money than these guys came up with. What? Why is that? These guys no, came up came with a, a nice idea that would raise a half a million bucks. <laughs> we don't need that. No, we came up with an idea that would give you a flat rate, uh, I mean a metered rate of a dollar three job. So is he. Okay, now we, you took over here. Take your, what is your flat rate now? Increase it by 53%. Then multiply right. 75 cents by 1.53. No, that's not right. You're not increasing no, the meter rate 1.53. You're rate. Increase, they increasing the meter rate, rate. 1.47. They, they said flat rate. Oh, I misunderstood. What do you want me to do? Increase the meter rate 1.47. Which is a dollar three cents. Yeah, right. Now increase the flat rate by 1.53. Right. There's your figure. And there's, there's your figure. Your figure. That's whatever your figure. The, whatever we're charged now for flat rate. Charges 63% more. Okay. And that's but that's what rate. it was in the beginning. Well, yeah. Yeah. Everybody's yeah. 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 And that's raising it up equally, percentage-wise. Go 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 more money than you need. No, so you're not. More money you're not. Right. You're raising three hundred and fourteen thousand no. dollars, John. The flat rate on our calculations was going to go up by, up by multiply by one point five one. And the metered people were going to go up to eighty two cents, not a dollar three. So the difference between eighty two and one hundred and forty is going to raise us. You won't have enough revenue then. Be happy with the money and use it wisely. You won't have enough revenue. That doesn't work out. Fix some of those leaks, huh? 
Believe it or not, fix the leaks, right? Believe it or not, we wouldn't feel good overcharging people for this. Leak fund, utility. leak fund, right. leak fund. You have to, you have to. We also can't raise more than ten. But I'll, I'll tell you there. seriously, yeah. without uh, formula, you guys will come out looking like you're working with the people rather really? than throwing something against yeah, them. Right. Seriously, Mr. Allen, the other formula, whether it's good or not, it looks like somebody's trying to squeeze something where they oughtn't be. Off. Right. And whereas this so, is, yeah. even so, if you got more money, the people you have so, to your first page. Just a minute. So this rate that would make us look like we're working with the people is what? Is what Mr. Cook said it is. One or three. One point oh three on a meter. Yeah. Fifty three percent on a flat. Yeah. Whatever their flat rate bill is, multiply it times one point five three. Folks, I gotta tell you, it's gonna raise even more money than you're raising everybody's bill with fifty percent. What? They took, they, they proposed a fifty percent raise. We came here and they're proposing the same that, thing right back at them. That work, <laughs> And working with the people will raise about twice as much money as we need. So what are you saying? But if it it looks that not, way, well, it what are you saying? Whatever, wait a minute, whatever Mr. Kuczynski said, it made sense to me at the time, and that's what I'm trying to support. Really. What are you saying? Whatever Josh? he proposed sounded good. Raise it 50 percent? Is that what you're saying? You got to have enough money. You need 314 thousand dollars. Right? That's I don't I don't think that'll give it to you. Can I just reiterate and try to yeah, make the scenario again there? See, what, what's transpiring is when this was prepared by the administrative assistant and the highway superintendent and the DQE was try to establish a use fee of what the meter people were actually using. Instead of 37% uh, of their use, they're paying 45% revenues. To get away from that picture to solve the problem, if everybody, I don't know, see, if we as commissioners feel that the meter people are overtaxed, then we have to go what was prepared by our administrative assistant. But if we're happy with the amount of revenues that were received and they, the way they were received in 1990 at 45% on the metered customers and 55% on the flat rate customers, then all we do is take the difference between the two budgets and appropriate them equally. That's right. Right. That's what we're trying to tell you. That's right. all we're trying to say. Yeah. yeah. That's what to we're to raise to you. That's, that's exactly right. Percentage of uses keep right. the same, increase the. And I think that's what the people would really accept. Right. And without right. accusing Mr. anyone. You do that, you're not going to have no sense, problems. You know? Mr. Okay. 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 I got to tell you this. If you go back to the very beginning, you said a dollar three cents with a thirty-seven percent increase for metered people, right? Uh, that's what they yeah. said. Thirty-seven percent increase. You got my fee. You got my calculator. No, okay. You, hey, you uh, figure this. Now wait a minute. You said a, 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 a dollar three, right? It's a forty-seven percent. It was a thirty-seven percent increase in fees. Right. On the meters. They were projected. on the meters. No, it's forty-seven percent. No. Yeah. The cost difference. Yeah. Between cents. And a dollar three was you said thirty seven percent? Yes it is. All right. Uh -huh. Okay, and then the other one you said was gonna be fifty it's it that's what you had in the very beginning. I'm just reporting what the math people over It's here right here, for. right on this paper, and if you pass it around you're right. Oh, you're going start. back to the printed stuff? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. It says so okay for cost of operation, proposed meter eighty three. 37 percent. Well, they were going to project, I mean, you were going to 80, what, 81 cents or 83 cents? Or 83. 83, which was a percentage. Not, not 100. 100. See, but the way you calculate the overall use is what's picked up and taken away from the burden from the meter people in the old. Well, what we were doing was trying to charge all the water that went out of the wellhead to someone. And it doesn't all get to someone. That's not equitable. That's what happened. But somebody has to pay for that. But somebody has to. Somebody has to pay three hundred fourteen thousand okay, so dollars. Apparently, I mean, I wish we were seventy-seven thousand short. That bothers me. Well, I don't think we have any problem here if we, we vote what I said. I mean, I don't. I feel comfortable in my own own mind, and it's an honest factor to use. Donald, why don't you go with that vote? That is my motion on the table at those percentages. Why don't you vote on it? Got a second. Somebody move the question. Okay. That's Donald right. made a motion yeah. to uh, uh, bring him up accordingly. Right. Yeah. Well, you know, that's fair. 53%. That would be fair. What's the motion? 
It's the raised old number. Forty-three hundred fourteen. Right. The person who made the when motion. you say forty-seven and fifty-three percent using the delivered and usage rates, it doesn't work out anymore. You've got to go to the revenue rates. Okay. okay? Yeah. What is it? So okay, in the nineteen ninety budget, when you're using the revenue rates, forty-five percent was attributed to meters, fifty-five percent attributed to non-meters. Um, okay. No, no, 37 and 60. <clears throat> no. According to 1990 billing right here, if these are the figures Robin used, and I'm going, hopefully they're correct. Okay? So what I'm saying, we're not changing the rate at all compared to what we have before us tonight. It's still 75 cents and uh, the flat rate, whatever it turns out to be. But now when we address the additional revenue we need for the 1991 fiscal season, I'm saying that those two should be treated equally. Right, right. man. Right. Yeah. Wherever it is, it is. Put a yeah. dollar to reach. To reach your $314,000, right? That's the right? Yep. Then that's right. what's wrong with that? That's Vote on it. That's what my motion is. Right. That's, that's what I said. You still have to have a rate. The motion's been right. I mean, yes, you do. Let them vote. You'll figure you know Let him vote. Let him vote. Let him vote. Let him vote. Before the motion, I, I think someone should test the rate that will result from the motion. But it's that's going to be just my own personal You need that money, don't you? Right, right, right. Somebody can move the question and we're done. No. I'm, I'm fine with it because all we're dealing with in my motion is the increase in the budget to be appropriated. Equally at 50% each. So right, vote. Right. Move the question. And we're not changing any of last year's rate. He moved Can it. I do that? <laughs> and whatever that 50%, yeah. how it affects last year's rate, that's what we're going to live with. Right. Move right. the question. Move the question. I second that. Move the second. Vote. 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 Motion's been made and seconded. Vote. 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 All the favor say aye. Okay, I'm opposed because I'd like to test the rate against the revenue for Bowen Robinson. But the motion carries. That is the same motion. No, no existing. The percentages are working out the same as. See, when you talk 37%. And 63 in uses, when you revert them to revenue, they come out 45 and 55 in essence. See what I mean? You can. Very shortly. Okay. They're going to do the percentage of You still come up with 100%, irregardless. But one is the use, what they're actually paying today, and one is the revenue that is derived. Yeah, I have a question on that too. I heard that um, you have to pay ten dollars for a fee deposit for the stamp pipe, and then you, when you're done spraying, you come back that day, uh, report the acreage you've sprayed. If you don't bring the key back that day, then you're charged twenty five dollars per day until you bring the key back. And I, I don't know about that. I don't, I don't, don't remember either. voting on anything like that. I, what this is the was policy? brought to my attention no. by the so so Where do I, where, does, where do, how can I use it? He doesn't want to collect the money and I mean, no. Okay, well, time out on that. I don't think it has been, been assessed. The farmers who were here, there was a guy from Sunderland, and the suggestion was that we have the same system that Sunderland has. This sounds like hearsay. I don't know. We never voted on it, so don't worry about it. They're locked. The keys are at the town highway garage with the superintendent. Are they all oh, okay? I know. So where do we so all you go I see the highway superintendent, all of them okay. and my last three are. We don't have any on our There's none out there. No, 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 no. There, there's pipes there. The last situation that occurred was with uh, Mr. Tchaikovsky. Yeah. He went out to the highway superintendent. He says, "I thought it was going to be ten dollars." He says, "I'm not collecting any money yet for deposit or whatever because I don't know." But here's the key: you keep the key. 
Okay, and we're so going to we get seen, back to you. We've but, seen Mike. Yes, and you sign your name saying you took a key. Okay. And then it's going to be up to this board to establish a fee for the key. That's all. Okay, thank you. Can you know, we have a pipe on our way? It's a deposit. Not tonight. Right. <laughs> we're motion to adjourn. Thank you. Well, hey, thank you. Oh, hey, to bring up. Thank you. Okay. We are an area that was called an agricultural area out there, and we could use the pipe on there. Okay, there's never been one in that area, right? Bay Road's got one. Where? Right by Chungle's house, the Connor Moody Bridge in Bay Road. There's one there. Are there any more? Yeah. When farmers right. were in here and they voted. Where they that was for now, go? they said. For yeah. now, we're going to put the right. That's the end of water meters for tonight. If you want it on the agenda, we'll put it on the agenda. I don't want a water meter. These, I these are meters. Like no more discussion on water meters. Standby. Mrs. Devine. Standby. Okay, this was my intention. We're giving this form out for anyone that comes in for water uh, service application, and I think it should be amended. Uh, so it should state that this is purely voluntary, voluntary right. and why it is being requested. Uh, it's in conjunction with our loan with FHA, and this is, uh, these are statistics they have to provide. I'm, you know, this is something that I'm not even aware of at all, and, you know, that's why I should go to our secretary first, you know, that if we have to do it by law, we'll do it. No, this is already being done, handed out. I've had a complaint. By who? Who authorized it? I asked Karen, and she said this okay. is a Okay, you've raised the question. None of us have any answers. I'm not in the mood to make up any answers. We'll deal with it next week. <coughs> Thanks for uh, bringing it to our attention. Yeah, I know. don't want to be connected with something like this unless it says this is purely voluntary because it asks the applicant's race Fine. or ethnic okay. origin, black, Hispanic, Asian, I agree. So Is that something that came out of our office that's required by law for a grant, or is it something somebody just took our letterhead and made up a thing and they're passing it around? No. By Robin? Okay, let's wait until okay, we hear the explanation. So we'll need an explanation. So that'll come back when she comes back. I'm not aware why we're doing it. It's just but maybe don't don't don't, don't, yeah. don't pass those around to anybody yeah. until it's cleared I up. Have, because once you, you get another have, lawsuit, we have to have right. review because of our loan with with a question. This will help answer some of the questions. When Robin gets back, I think she can answer it because I'm not aware of in, even instituting it. I don't know when it was instituted or why, but we have those answers. We that's what happens Can't go when you delegate your authority without delegating your responsibility. You're out of order. I am like hell. I'm no, sorry, no. you are out of order. Okay, so I'm out of order. I already said we're we, we have to vote on the policy. Mr. We Chairman. have to vote on the policy. Mrs. Devine is talking. Anything else, Devine? Yes. Uh, what are we going to do for janitor for the town hall? Wait no. till Robin comes back. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. what do you mean? Wait till Robin comes back. He's, he's resigned, right? Right. I didn't know about it. Okay. Thanks for bringing it to my attention. We'll do it next week. There's a letter in the current mail. It's in tonight's paper, too. Temporarily, I would ask the board to uh, ask a highway uh, personnel person to come in in the morning and sweep the floor and empty the baskets. Till That's we, not uh, a legitimate use of highway. To. You're out of order. The board of selectmen is having a discussion. It's an open meeting, too. Uh, you are not allowed to interrupt the board of selectmen in a discussion amongst themselves. You guys do it all the time. Mr. Pipchins. I just said Mr. Chairman and this is the motion I'm making. Okay. I'm concerned about the dehumidifiers in the cellar because those are involved in my permanent records. And You're here during the day, I'll entrust you to speak to the highway personnel person who comes in and get him to do the proper thing that we can get uh, someone on board to handle the job. Okay? Would that be fine? Yeah. Um, Mr. Block is in the audience, and he has submitted a letter. He does not wish to be uh, reappointed to the Conservation Commission, but I would like to have the board thank him. He's been on, what, since 78 on the Conservation <laughs> Commission, and a Council on Aging member for quite a few years. He's put in quite a few years of service to the town. See, Mr. Chairman, yes, can I bring up a point of interest here? By not following the agenda, this is what creates a problem. That may be in our mail, but henceforth, this morning, he's contacted me. I don't know if he's contacted you. He's contacted Mrs. He contacted Allen. Me he chooses time. to withdraw that now. Well, that was in the mail. That's what I mean. It's in the mail, but it's not on the agenda, and it puts us in an awkward situation. 
you know. Well, that was since and so now the man, afternoon. yes, well, and it didn't have time to go through the proper channels to be analyzed in a proper manner. So it's, I, and and so words, it's mute in a way, and uh, it was brought up, and I, he wholeheartedly has my full acceptance to stay on. If she should have did that in you know. writing then. Changes his mind again. Right. No, what Mr. Kuczynski It's something correct. that is this being is pulled out of the mail that. and brought before the board without having the administrator or someone bring it to the whole board's attention Why to analyze. Why do you crucify Joanne when she brings up other business? What it, is this? Strictly agenda business over here? If there's a complaint, let her bring it up. Okay? I'm just What's this, agenda business? We are, and we're just saying All right. this. Say don't, it's embarrassing. Mr. Don't say embarrassing. Mr. Chairman, okay. can I ask one question? Somebody got no, a complaint, they can hear it. The floor. Can I have? No. It's, it's yes. just can a I situation, excuse me, that could have been alleviated without even bringing up, apparently. But, you know, those things happen. Was, you know, it's right. minor. It's minor. It's minor. It wasn't in the folder. It wasn't in the folder? I didn't see that. He, he, he talked, what, what it, all right, let's you drop it. Put it in writing. It should not. Yeah, we'll call it. Was it in writing, Mike? I didn't see it in the folder. Was it in writing as, as of this afternoon? I, no, I didn't put it in. Well, well there. I'm not a mind reader. Okay. Okay. Is there any other business coming yes. before the board? Does any of the selectmen have any other business? Yes, I do. I, I would like a motion for the chair to sit down and create some parliamentary procedures for our board, being the elected chair of whatever manner he chooses to use. To operate a proper Levine against four. Wait a minute, you got to follow parliamentary procedures, not create your own, Donald. This is the parliamentary procedure I'm asking the chairman to set up that not everyone in this room will have to adhere to, including myself. Right. Not your own parliamentary no. procedures. The or, chairman. I'm or saying, the if I was the chairman, I'd run the meeting the way I want to run it. And I'm requesting this chairman to set his guidelines down just like the moderator does at town meeting. And I want him to bring those back to this board. For, to be analyzed and voted on. Okay. Is there a second? No, I think I believe I ran out of government and that. I, I don't think you should draw up rules that are so strict that people won't be able to participate. I'll second right. Because they can come back to the board for the board's consideration. Is there any other, anything else a board member wants to say? Mr. Mitchkowski. Okay. I get a call from Shannon O'Brien's office, and I have to go to Boston uh, the 20th to testify for the dive team for uh, a Good Samaritan status, and I would ask the board uh, for a letter. Uh, prior to that, I, I talked to Donald and I talked to Joanne about it. Uh, what we're trying to do is to get a hold harmless uh, status for the liability for the dive team. But we would like to have the support of all the communities that we service. Have the, we have uh, responded to uh, numerous accidents over the past 10 years, and you know I feel that the board, you know, should uh, support this. And I'm asking if you would give a, give a letter. Uh, it's the bill number 505023, or what is it? 5203. Shannon filed on our behalf, and uh, I would ask the board to support it. Chairman. On that, I don't have any problem whatsoever supporting it, but I would like, prior to us writing a letter of support, documentations that will document that it's a nonprofit organization, basically, a charter stating their existence, which they should have automatically, and then I'll Donald. forward the letter along with Donald. it. <coughs> the bill. Uh, excuse me. Wait, you wait, want to address wait, the board of selectmen? I, I want to give him some more information, though. Well, address the if chair. this if this happens, the Hadley Aquatic Rescue uh, name will be dissolved, and it's going to become the H Hampshire Aquatic Rescue Team for reasons of uh, Western Mass funding and sponsors. Then we will then, if we get this status, we will file under a nonprofit status, dissolve the other group. Okay, but this is if we don't get this uh, status then there's no sense even going through what, what we're going to go through, okay? Mr. I think he wants to see the charter before he votes for the we don't. The existing under, charter under, of the present dive team. No, then, under the Hampshire. And 
uh, the existing charter that presently exists Donald. of the dive team and your a proposal letter of what you're going to do to change it to. Donald. And a slate of the officers. That's all. Donald. You know, as long as we Donald. have some document. Donald, listen to me. You want to see you the bill she filed? listen to the selectman. You He's stick your talk. letter, you know where. Yeah. All right, that's Hurry. maybe about as far as your letter That's I don't want, I don't want your letter now. Right. Stick it. You never supported the dive team ever. In I, fact, Mr. Allen, you and Brasco chased it out of the fire department to the county. Sorry. Both of you. Mr. Pipchinski, as a selectman, was speaking Forget I you. even asked you to, because you, you, you two made things so difficult, it's not even worth even, even talking to you two. listening to Keep him. it. Keep it. All right. Is there a motion to adjourn? I'll do what I should. Mr. Porter? I'd like to withdraw my letter. I'll uh, uh, get a motion to allow the withdrawal of your letter. This was a letter to resign. What's your yes, letter? Sir. The letter that not wishing to be reappointed? The letter that you have. I want to be reappointed. I'd like to be reappointed. All right. Uh, tell you what, uh, since it's come up, that's the board do. I, I just assume vote on the letter if he wants to withdraw it. As far as I'm concerned, it's never been submitted. Why don't we just, for a just formal withdraw presentation. The vote. And we won't at, recognize your letter. at this time, the board is not addressing any appointments, so when the appointments come up, we'll address the appointment. Right. Did you address your letter to the clerk? I addressed it to the chairman of the board. So it never even got to the clerk, right? Huh? It's not a letter of resignation. It was a letter stating he did not wish to be reappointed. That's awful close, isn't it? No. No. So then we have no problem. No problem. Because his term goes till the end of the fiscal year or whatever, yeah. June 30th. Tell you what, so he's Lord. presently still a member, and at the time of appointment, will there will not be a letter in there asking not to be reappointed, and we'll just consider that and appoint at that time. Okay. I I personally, uh, as I told you the other day, be uh, delighted if we get to the third in another couple of years and uh, about it. You've done yeoman service for this town, and uh, you're a good guy to work with. For those Is there any other business to come before the board? Yeah, Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. That class two license that we're going to hear about this meeting. Um, Is it on the agenda? No. No. The research hasn't been done yet to find out about the uh, moratorium if it is legal or not. Mr. Granostowski, tell that comes back from the attorney. We're waiting for a decision. The first meeting you told us would be the second meeting. The second meeting you told us he still hasn't heard the decision. Why don't you advise him when it's going to be? All right. Is there any other business coming before the board? Yes, sir. I live on Cemetery Road. My name is John Lusk. I'd like to ask the board about their contract with you. So, the Board of Health has the contract with you. So, did you sound? Did you? Did the board of and sign this paper? We may sign it as uh, as functionaries of the town, but the contract is administered by the Board of Health. And okay, well, my question is, is, is there something that can be done to alleviate the dust problem that's on Talk the street? To the Board of Health. The dust on the street? Yeah. The gravel portion, you're saying? Yeah. Well, Duso doesn't have anything to do with that. That's a town byway. Well, is that would be our line? portion. So who would I talk to about that? Well, that's us. Well, that's why I'm here. Yeah. Is there something that you can do about it? You're saying from the stretch from uh, where you go from the dump to the dike? That's the where the dust is? Road, yeah. Yeah. It isn't because the other part is paved. That's no problem there, going to the dump. No, that's no problem. Okay. There. The only other thing was maybe if we could do something with our highway department, calcium or yeah, something to cut right. down the dust. But, what are, what are we okay you know, have, we could request our uh, highway superintendent to check into it. A couple, two, three bags of calcium, we'll keep it down. I appreciate it. Thank Any you. other business? To, we'll take care of that. Any other business to come before the board? Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Is there a second? A second. All in favor? Aye.